I don't know if we're ready for that. I don't know. Hold up. Um, we'll leave that running in the background. Do it. Do it for my two and a half month long quest achievement. Do it. <laughs> We can do a roulette run. We don't need the, the, the crazy options, right? Do these bosses go along with it? It's supposed to, I think, Law the, the host, but I think there may be... Oh my god, today's daily is shit, man. Are you kidding me? Arguably the worst possible start you can get. Bouncing burst, unstable crystal. Fuck me. Um, Faceless stream, let's go. How dare you. How dare you, CK. Dunks are spice it up. Kiss every boss on the cheek with a melee kick. Should spice up things uh, like the dragon. Oh my god. <laughs> that would Imagine having to kick tiny. There you go. Bets are open. Albino Chimp, thanks for the follow. Bets are open. Exclamation mark. Yes, you think I'm going to win? Exclamation mark. No, you think I'm going to lose? We are doing a roulette run. So if you guys don't know what that is. First off, this is the daily run. If you don't know that, we're playing the daily. And um, we're going to, when we reach our very first holy mountain... We will close the bets. And when we close the bets, we're going to uh, use a random number generator thing uh, made by Arnt, which allows us to, right here, it selects how many fungal shifts we have to do, how many orbs we have to collect, and how many bosses to kill. So, uh, but we won't be rolling that until we reach the very first Holy Mountain, okay? So that's the game plan. Damn, this, this right here is located in a rough spot. Can't get an angle on it. And then also Spark Bolt uh, Trigger is going to be banned for today's run just because uh, they were wanting spice and I really was like, eh, so I just did the, the most basic spice I could think of. Gunpowder. Hmm. <laughs> Old spice. <laughs> Old spice. For every chainsaw found, you need to ban a spell from your wand or inventory. Every chainsaw found? What? Holy shit, man. Have I mentioned how how bad crystals are? They are fucking trash. Ban all triggers? All triggers? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, since we need to have Noida training wheels on for Grandpa, let us ban one spell every holy mountain. What? This is some bullshit. Pass. That sounds better. Yeah, that one is definitely more reasonable. I'll give him that. We already said spark trigger, man. That plus, yeah, chat would be, chat would try to be cute and just ban teleport. And they'd be like, oh, great. Now I get to add an extra potentially like 45 minutes plus to the run. Man, um, hold up. Here's a... Damn it, what are we gonna do? What are we going to do? Have we decided to bet? Oh my gosh. Yeah, we are doing a... Roulette run with a spark trigger band. That is the goal. Woo! There we go. Scoop up a little bit of blood because we need something, huh? Alright. Here I thought Chase was a gamer and not scared of a challenge. Guess skill issues creep up with age. I just woke up, damn it. I've been awake like five seconds. Come on, man. 
There's some water. In my challenge, you pick a uh, band so you can uh, carry deer coy uh, or decoys uh, for bands until 20 chainsaws uh, wand shows up. It puts the ban on the holy mountain spells in, or it gets the jumper cables again. <laughs> Undercover, thanks for the love. Hmm. Well. This is cool. Oh, shit. Almost caught that one. Ooh, we got a puzzle to our right. Holy shit. Hello? <laughs> okay. Band spark trigger. Finds add trigger and spark bolt equals outsmarted. <laughs> Shh, Lucas. Don't tell them. That was pretty risky of me, actually. I was over there thinking, oh, the electricity will just go down. And I was like, wait, I could have gone to the side. Drain that water a bit. Chain's still gonna be a pain. Um, I go. We just dropped this here. We gotta get some water going on this thing so we can see when it's conducting, cause... There we go. Oh no! Fire guy, get your ass over here. Coming. Surprise, motherfucker. Yeah, for real. I agree with Boltsicle, let us ban one spell each mountain, don't wuss out on just one spell, that's like saying you want to use your pinky the next time you... The next time you what? <laughs> What's that now, the lost? That fucking chain is just too, too long. Oh! Conduct, you bitch! Melt the chain? That's pretty risky, because if we put uh, a concentrated mod on the ground, it's going to spread, and it's going to uh, probably melt the whole goddamn thing. Usually, you don't want... Concentrated mana around whenever you're messing with this box. Oh my goodness. That chain is screwing me, man. Probably like a Nuko stone right, right here. I wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is <gasps> Oh shit! Did you just see that? Did you see that, Chad? Yo, what's up, Brandon? One of our OGs, another old school member. Brandon, I hope you're doing well, man. Thank you for the 38 months. I appreciate your love. Expedozer. 
All right, if you're curious what I'm doing, I'm trying to nudge this thing closer before I make the kick. I'm kicking it from too far back. Almost there, chat. Usually it shouldn't be this much of a pain. We just, the chain's too long. It's like dragging it down, essentially. What the hell, man? We need more water. What the shit? There's been this is the this is the fourth one we've had to fight. That's that's it. we're just fighting these fire guys at this point. This is trash. This is bad. That is bad. Fuck. <laughs> okay that we had to break that because all we have to do is just scoop up a drip of it and we have another flask of it easy wait what is that oh look at there worry about that in a second oh, yeah. oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now he is drenched in sweat no oh. Finally. Well, all that work for meh. All that work. Was that alchemic uh, precursor? Yes, that is. That is alchemic precursor right there. Um. Hmm. How will we get some rotten meat? Blood, water, toxic sludge. Yeah, I'm not sure the combo yet, but uh, doesn't look like gold will be much of an issue in this run. If you're curious what alchemic precursor? Oh boy! Yep, there's somebody mentioned they had run into a Greek letter early in today's daily, or something about today's daily having a Greek letter. Um, and there it is, Alpha, in the very first zone in today's daily, if you have killed the Alchemist at some point in your runs. So that's, that's pretty huge. Mm -hmm. AK says, huge! Huge! Everybody chicken out right now? <laughs> what? You guys are afraid? Weebs, don't start. Nope, oh, nothing there. It's too, it's too uh, early for me. <laughs> I just woke up. I can't put up with your shit right now. The fix is in, boys. Streamer loot confirmed. Dude, if you think this streamer loot, yesterday's daily was... Oops, that was an accident. Yes. Wait, it swapped out my main wand? That's some bullshit. Oh, it's because all of my wands are pretty shit. Um, well, that's a lot of freezes. So one thing I have to look out for, these, uh, these freezes that we have right here... Uh, if we leave the zone, and then we come back to it, it will actually lose ownership of these uh, these these freezing circles. And then if we walk into them, they'll freeze us. So I want to make sure that uh, everything's cleared out of here. So in case I do leave the zone and come back to it, <clears throat> it's it it won't matter. Like if it freezes me, because nothing will be deadly around here. <clears throat> yeah. So we have we have draft of Midas. Uh, the, we have alchemic precursor right here. We are going to turn into some draft of Midas. Um, use meteor for digging instead of bomb uh, crystal. Isn't that OP uh, for always cast as explosion is safe? Uh, 
Use meteor for digging instead of bomb slash crystal. Um, meteor digging? I'm not sure how I feel about meteor digging. I haven't really used it a ton for, for just regular ass digging. It's kind of a... Uh, Kind of a spell that you really don't see till the late game whenever you don't need it that much because it's 150 mana a shot. Let's see if I can cause this alchemic precursor to run off the edge. Down here? Yeah. There we go. So basically, once you see that blue liquid, it means that uh, randomly in the seed, three ingredients were selected at the start of the seed. And if they come into contact with each other, then, um, oh shit. If they come into contact with each other, then there will be an interaction where it creates a blue liquid called Alchemic Precursor. From there, all you have to do is get it to come in contact with some, uh, some, like, meat. Something like an enemy that you kill. Their corpse. And, uh, and then it will activate the Alchemic Precursor. It will turn into, uh... Draft of Midas, which is what we had there. Which we're gonna we're gonna farm up some more in a moment. I just wanted to get another flask. So I want to try to scoop up some of that uh, precursor and maybe uh maybe if Chad is okay with it, uh, on our roulette run we do one sh one of the shifts with the uh, alchemic precursor. This is exactly what we needed. A flask. In fact, there's another flask. Do it. Is this a roulette run? Yes, the, it is a roulette run. The first uh, area has alpha and precursor. This daily is ridiculous. Yeah, pretty pretty cool for sure. Pretty cool. But yesterday's was crazier. Even even as good as this daily may seem right now, yesterday's was crazier. Because you got to remember, our first zone had uh, summon Tykosova. And then our second zone had a very easy way to to dupe uh, the, the summon Tykosova. So yet in our... In our third mountain yesterday or no, our second holy mountain yesterday we spawned like uh oh shit we spawned in i think chad did the math it was a couple hundred wands and that was without killing any bosses like we didn't use any greek letters or anything it was a uh, it was pretty damn blessed to run damn it i want to get down there to that but we'll wait a moment All right, so now this is going to be our main wand. This. Let's see if we can do this, chat. Actually, wait. What's the shift supposed to be that's awesome? Oh, it's gold, it's gold, it's the gold dust to, um, <clears throat> to draft Midas, isn't it? Yeah, that, that, one, that would be a hard one to set up. Yeah, we have some alchemic precursor in here. Damn it, I missed it. Remember this chat? <laughs> Remember this game chat? <laughs> I remember. Mm -hmm. All right. Ah, oh, fucking missed it, man. Curious what I'm doing. I just oh ah Pete. Oh, there it is. Did you see that shit? Caught it. We threw a pixel of alchemic precursor up in the air, caught it in our flask. So we have one pixel of alchemic precursor. So our flask is blue. Uh, so whenever we do our shift. We can shift 
or at least attempt to shift alchemic precursor. Now the thing is, do we want to shift alchemic precursor or do we want to shift the other I stuff? I really wish you guys could see this guy. I right think alchemic precursor would be a good one to shift. Sweat. In before it rolls zero shifts. <laughs> Uh, Sky Pirate with a three monther says, "Show me the money." Sky Pirate, thank you for the three months. I appreciate you. Dislike me, yo. I'm running behind, man. With a thirty-five monther says, "You fucking sheeps." Good night. You fucking sheeps. Dislike me. Thank you for the thirty-five months. Sorry, I'm running behind here. We had Brandon. Dislike me. Sky Pirate. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Uh, if you're curious, you'll get to see why that get, catching that pixel of um. Alchemic Precursor was kind of exciting, possibly, in uh, in a moment. But let's finish out this uh, this first area before we go doing uh, anything wild and crazy, you know? Shift Precursor, Shift Midas. The thing is, though, I got to find a way to get the Midas in a in a flask. General Kenobi. Those are the facts. Uh, doesn't shifted al al alchemic precursor not work properly, i.e. it won't convert things to gold? I didn't think so, but I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. You're saying that the meat won't activate it properly? <clears throat> you could be right. The yeah, says depends. I feel like it would have to have, you'd have to have like some kind of chain of, uh stuff before it could break that. Noxbo says, uh, Precursor Shift is just as good as Midas Shift, right? Uh, not like corpses are hard to get. That was my thinking. But, we'll see, we'll see. I think if you shift the original Alchemic Precursor away, it would break it. Now that, that makes sense. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Because it would change the its interaction, but I wouldn't think shifting something like you know what I mean, duplicating the alchemic precursor. Sweet, our first heart. Nice. Actually, wait, that's not our first heart. Oh, we haven't even grabbed the. Uh... Well, shit. We haven't grabbed the orb. Oh, we're not supposed to grab the orb because it's roulette. Yeah. Mm. Do, 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 do. Dunk is still half asleep. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> definitely, definitely not fully awake. Even though I slept a lot, I feel good. It's just, you know what I mean? If you slept for a long time and you just wake up, you're like, uh, what's going on? You need your trusty tablet. I should have grabbed the one on the far right. That was a mistake not having it already. My trusty tablet. Hmm. Smack, smack, smack. Damn, I keep I keep seeing this thing and I'm like, I, I want to grab that. Here's what I could do. I could drop a bomb right here. Oh, no, it's going to detonate that box. We don't know the roulette numbers until after the bets close, so... I have to wait and see. Burn the wood. Is there a lantern above it? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, you're right. There is a lantern. Thank you. Genius. Burn the wood. Good call, Eli. We have a freeze on us. So oh, No! What? Well, that chain of events just occurred. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 I 
No! I scroll gaming. It just fucking scrolled right past my flask and it scooped up some water. I'll wait to scoop it up again after. Um. Yeah, after we do all the shit. You idiot. <laughs> Hold on, it's, I should have done it after I cleared the zone, not while I was still wandering around. Fuck me. There's more of it right there. Destroy us all! You idiot! You idiot! Don't worry, we can do it again. I'm not too worried. We can do it again. It's just I have to... I want to clear the zone and then we'll worry about the catching a pixel of it again. Check mm -hmm. the last Holy Mountain entrance. We're slowly... We're getting there. Moving our way along. Oh, great. Acid spitter guy. Nothing bad has ever happened with this guy. Finally dead. Gotta say, not a not a fan of the uh, starting loots though. They've really held us back. Everything else has been going pretty great. The starting loots were so shit, and halted things a bit. Oh my god, fire guy, are you just standing in the most annoying spot? Trying to pour water on him through the ground, but he's standing on a hill. So it's just running off the edge. Give him the old freeze kick. Streamer has so much patience. Kicking a box for 10 minutes. Catching a single pixel for 10 minutes. Weebs for 10 minutes. Weebs for 10 years. Let, let's be real. Been putting up with them since day one. Nice shot. Look what you did. You got him horned. Can't mention the weebs. But just by just by mentioning their name, they gotta be a pain in the ass. There you go. Who's the punch? The punchers, those are the true heroes of the channel right there. Remember, punch a weave today. Sometimes, violence is the answer. Quack, quack. Hmm. Even Dunkbot's tired of your shit. Stop, okay? no more. Okay. Got the water flowing. We got the juices flowing. What's up, Kristen? Uh huh. Now you're awake. Not when I had 16 people to raid with. I see how it is. You hate me, don't you, Dunk? What What were you playing today, Kristen? Um. 
My sleep schedule is jacked. I, I literally woke up after midnight. I opened my eyes, I looked over, I was like, wait, what the fuck? Um, but it's because I put off a couple days exercising, so then when I finally exercised, I had to run myself like crazy. I had to run a couple more miles than originally I planned, and then I was exhausted. And, uh, and so when I finally slept, I went into like a pure, like, coma. It's just, I was out of it, man. No Man's Sky, no Man's Sky Terraria, Green Hell. I streamed for like 11.5 hours. God damn. A nice, thick stream. Respect, Chris, and respect. Most people wake up after midnight. That's true, guys. Did you know that? Fun fact for you. I was just the first one awake. The rest of you haven't even gone to sleep yet. Uh, all right, how are we going to do this? I'm afraid. I, th I think this layout right here has another wall right there. I think. Though so I don't want to just lay a bomb here and be like, oh, problem solved. Um, if I lay this bomb here, it's going to do it to about right there. So that won't work either. Uh, How'd you run more than you planned? Did you DNK blind on a street? No, I mean, like, originally whenever I exercise, I try not to go too crazy, because otherwise I'll exhaust myself to I don't want to do anything. But because I hadn't exercised in a while, I had to exhaust myself. You had gunpowder, you could have uh, used it to get in there. I hate spraying gunpowder upwards, though. Shit just comes down on my head, like, half the time. Hmm. Break it on the right. The problem is, all you're saying, like, if I drop this here, I can't even get it. I don't know if I have a spot that is going to be. I think I have to drop it right about here. That explosion will be large enough because we drop it here, it's going to slightly leave that edge. Hmm. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Now we're gaming. Now we're gaming. Oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Woo! And it's a TNT one. Yeah, it's what we needed. <laughs> Yo, Zealous with the five monthers says shout out to the sweatiest Twitch stream there is. Thank you for the kind words there, Zealous. I appreciate you, my dude. Thank you, by the way, for also the good, uh, the good anime recommendations. You got good taste, man. Um. Does uh, Cir Circle of Transmog uh, work on Scout? No, it does not. Little baby Scout, yes. AKA Steve. But Big Scout, nah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Chad, for showing sweaty love and zealous. By the way, we're about to be doing the, uh, the roulette run, the rolling of the roulette run, all right? So get ready for that. Bets are going to be closing soon. We have to do our final step, though. We need to get a pixel of um, a pixel of the. Well, we could just do e either the gold itself or the um, the draft of Midas or the what you call it, alchemic precursor. Let's see. Chat, which would be more exciting to you guys to try to shift the precursor? The blue liquid or the draft of Midas, the gold liquid? Midas, Midas, AP, Midas. 
Midas, AP, Precursor, Midas, Gold, Midas. Okay, so I think majority is Midas. Midas might crash things with the wrong shift, wouldn't it? Um, I don't think it would ever crash it, but it may lag it like a motherfucker. That is true. Hmm. I mean, you are right that we could try to get them both. Let me see real fast. Did I get any in here? I did get some. The problem is the... The Midas can be very tricky to actually, like, contain that shit. Damn it, see, we already... We're already losing it. Hmm. Start with AP, and then if it fails, you can go to back on Midas. True, I'll, I'll leave that there, and then, yeah, we'll do that. That order makes the most sense. Oh, shit! Is it official? I'm a god gamer? Hold up. There's still water in it, but if you see, alchemic precursor's in the first slot. So that means it is the majority. That's why our flask is blue. Too goddamn easy, Esperoth. Too goddamn easy. And then we have, like, like Chad was saying, we have the gold. We have this to fall back on if we want to. So, I'm going to jump into the Holy Mountain. Oh, fuck. I'm nervous that we have that. We're going to end up, like, getting some other liquid in it. Let me close the bets. Let's close the bets. Make it TNT, uh, make it TNT Meteor Wand. You, uh, have the mana and it's not, no shuffle. Just try it. I mean, the Meteor. We'll see. We'll see. Give me a moment on that one. Um, put that up. Toss those eggs. Bets are closing. Bets are closing. Let's roll the dice. See if it's nice. Move this here. There. Spin. Ian. If only there was keys to switch between slots without scolding lol. The hell? Without scolding? <laughs> without scolding. Larander, thank you for the hundred bits. Who made this uh, new UI? This was made by Art. Artorius is like is his full name, but we call him Art. Uh, he's in the chat pretty often, but I don't I don't see him in here right now. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see what it's going to be for today's roulette run. Remember, chat. Remember. At least one of the shifts, maybe two of the shifts, we may try to manipulate it with Midas or um, Alchemic Precursor. Usually we don't do any manipulation. As in, like, we don't try to hold a, a flask and manipulate the shift. But since today's a rare run, we're going to do that. Um... Six shifts, 11 orbs, all orbs, six bosses. God damn it. Let me update the title. Exit that. And we are ready. Let's do it. You just try to cheese the bridge boss right away if you don't want a long run. That's leaving it in RNG's hands. It's too dangerous. Uh, wait. There a way out with this. Oh, we could use the meteor as our way out, I guess, but that's pretty fucked. Um, let me see. How does this do as an escape? I could use that. I could literally use summon uh, Saint Kiwi as our escape route. Hold up. Speed. Speed. Hmm. Prefer it to be laying on its side. 
Aw. God damn it, my legs are too strong. I've been working out. No! Don't go slipping into the ground. There we go. Nudge that over. A little bit more. Eh, that'll do. Alright, let's see. Will this let us eat away at that at all? Kind of. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot I have freeze filled. Huh. <laughs> Totally forgot. I don't know if this method's gonna cut it. I'm gonna create this hill right here. What about your character's legs? Oh, there's legs, what does that even mean? Uh, cast a copy of the first spell in your wand. Oh, shit. One eternity later. Dude, that that hill is kind of yikes. That'll this will actually work though. I think. Yeah, this will actually work. Read bio. What was bio? Uh, there's a fireball trigger. Uh, the that the return can go in. There's a fireball trigger. Oh, there was. Well, all that work for nothing. But it doesn't matter. We we have a way out now. But the, I didn't even I didn't even notice the trigger. <laughs> I guess when I looked at this wand, I only looked at the fireball orbit. Um, for now, we're just gonna put that up, use this here. This is going to go there. Put that up. This here. And we are set. Hopefully, I don't mess this shit up. Meaning we can roll this. Interesting. Actually, wait. When we try to come back in... Hopefully that doesn't screw us. Because what's going to happen is when we cast this return spell, it's going to shove it away from us. When I cast it in here, I gotta make sure it doesn't, like, shove it in a way that's gonna collapse that damn mountain. Meteor is super good here. I don't think, uh, the core- isn't, like, the AoE of it safe, but I, I can't remember if the core of it's safe for the player. It makes me nervous. Do, do, do. Meteor is safe. Does it, it even at the center point? I couldn't remember if because like I know the the large AOE is not supposed to hurt the player, but I couldn't remember if the small like the center point whenever it blows up if that if that has some kind of player damage.
There's an invis. Hmm. <laughs> Meteor, Meteor isn't that great. I mean, it's okay. Because it's 150 mana. You gotta keep in mind that we'd be firing it kind of slowly. But at least the damage would be sick. We may end up using it in, like, Fungal. But there's no reason in here. I mean, enemies that die in, like, one shot to, uh... Bouncing Burst. We don't need to be like, Get the fucking Meteor out for that bitch! He was gonna get one shot anyways. There's some lightning. In fact, let me cram this lightning in the ceiling. We have to get 11 orbs. Do, 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 do. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. Good choice. I just wasted myself with that lining. <laughs> just blew yourself up. How do you keep vomit from getting uh, in your flask? We're going to cram our face into the wall. So when our character's throwing up. Uh, it's similar to like if I... Say, say I put my face right here, right? And I spray water. Watch where the water goes. Watch above. See how the water goes above? It doesn't go right back into the flask. So we're going to cram our face into a wall whenever we're doing the shift. And so anytime we throw up, it'll it'll travel somewhere else rather than uh, potentially into our flask. There's a sweet spot to do it in the uh, Holy Mountain that I'll show you. But there's several spots you can do it in. But just there's one that's pretty consistent. Does that work 100%? I've never had it fail me. So that doesn't mean it's 100% though, right? Like just because I haven't seen it fail doesn't mean it can't fail. Does that work IRL? Yes, just cram your face in a wall while you throw up. Some oil right there. Not a lot of formation so far. Uh, you made me, uh, reminiscing of the good old Noita days, telling Chase Trigger Spark is actually good. <laughs> do, 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 do. <clears throat> Meteor? I'm not saying that, uh, um, our setup right now is, like, garbage for it, because the alpha makes it where it's, like, definitely more reasonable. But I'm just saying, like, with our current health and all that, why, and, and we're, with the fact that we're just in this area, I, I'm not being pushed to. Fungal area, maybe. We'll, we'll bust it out. But right now, we're just looking for hearts. When you're low health looking for hearts, usually you don't want something that's, like, large explosions. Regardless of if you're immune to it or not. Slow fire, large explosions. Yeah, it should be it should be cheap while while whenever the alpha is casting it. True, 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 true. But I believe it'll still cast somewhat slow. Do we have any good wands for it? Honestly, this wand right here, maybe. Yeah, this one may be good enough for it then, because this one has a 0.75, so this could be the one we could build the meteor on. If you aren't exploding, are you even noiting? Fair enough, fair enough. Mm, what the fuck? How am I... God damn it. This is a situation you would want that alpha explosion shit. Well. That bottom right area is going to be a pain. We'll do that once we get the meteor. We'll go to that area.
Did he skip a heart? Wait, 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 did I just skip a heart? Wait, hold on, where's... Where's the heart at, chat? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. No? I meant the first heal. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, you skipped the first heal. Uh, because, think about it, right now, if we find a heart, it'll give us 25 HP, right? So, the, the 25 HP is not healed HP, it's empty. So if we see the empty 25 HP, we grab it, then we go up and heal, you benefit from more health in this level, rather than later on. And the earlier you can benefit from that shit, the- oh crap, the crazier you can go. Need to kill this guy without killing his friend. Of course, they're like making out. Shit. This is gonna be a scary one. <gasps> oh, baby! That's how we do it! That is how we do it! Yeah, boy! Have we seen any light? Have we seen the light chat? Go towards the light! I don't think I've seen it. <laughs> that magic art emote is actually legit. <laughs> Stable telly? Yep, we got some good old regular telly out of that flash thrower guy. I just need to check, uh, I think... One holy mountain? Maybe two holy mountains. Alright, so this one's good. Empty? That's a debate. Aww. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and execute our friend. Oh my god. This is why we must kill him. He cannot be trusted. some water we got Steve go say hi to Steve oh Steve goodbye I do not want any of those no I do not do not want any of those I do want stronger hearts Thank you, thank you. Uh, all right. That up. Alpha Meteor. Pretty fast, actually. Not bad. Look how fast it would have went on our old one. That's actually still pretty fast. I guess it's a 0.75 delay on that one. That one, this one should be just 0.47. Pretty juicy. All right. Um, now we can go grab our heal, spark bolts, and luminous drills. Um, that away. Probably grab up those spark bolts in a bit. Oh, the light. Can we attach light? Will that see very well? Does it even need the light? 
I don't I can't remember if meteor lights up the darkness very well. Do you guys know? We'll find out. Just got wrecked by the floating diamond enemies uh, down in the lab. Had no idea they were so rapid fire. And oh yeah, they're a they're a full on machine gun in nightmare mode. It's crazy. Uh, explosion blink maybe. Right, we'll just put the light on there for now. I don't wanna have to re-edit. Uh, there you go. You a happy meek soon now? I need to heal up though, cause I was avoiding this just because I wanted to have higher health, and then now we have it with the same goddamn low health. What's up, birthday Bobo? Oh my god. The reason we kill him is because we don't need his flask anymore. We already have what we were. Looking for. You ever read me? Uh, what I missed there, Cactus. Real fast. Did I miss? Um, what do you think about adding a roulette spin that rolls spells that you aren't allowed for use in the run? Yeah, Chad has actually asked for that, like a banned spell list. Um, I've been. In I think Carney even made the list already, if I remember correctly. He made like a 1 through 12, kind of like uh, where you could we could roll a number and then the number would correlate with a, yeah, oh shit, with a spell. Oh man, I just need one heart and then I can grab the heal, that's all. Just one. Then asking for too much? Maybe. Oh my gosh. Woo! Well. Fuck. Now you may be seeing why I was holding off using that meteor as long as I was. And now I'm like, well fuck, I don't even know if I'm going to get to find a heart before we grab it. What we could do is go grab the cave heart at least. That's, that is a heart. Stop trying to throw. I'm not trying to throw! Literally, chat was over there. Mixu was getting horned because I wasn't using it. The altar orb. Oh, yeah, we can do both. Yes, very good point. Very, very good point. Altar orb plus the hidden heart orb. That'll be more than enough to be worth. Good fucking idea. Wish we had a teleport. Then we could go for the, the temple orb as well. But well. All right, so we fly up here, and then we don't even use our. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Hold up. I forgot that our the the spray of the telly was gonna be so strong. Uh, it's a strong stream. Concentrate him on it. Did he already take the Holy Mountain Orb? No, I mean the Holy Mountain Heart? I have not. But we grabbed stronger hearts, so I'm trying to snag up all the HP before I do that. That wand seems decent. A little explosive, but it's not bad. Take a stroll to the pyramid. That's such a far walk. I would if it wasn't like, because it makes sense, right? Strategy-wise, it's definitely a good good idea to grab that that heart. But it's just so boring to watch that walk. 
We used to do it all the time. Because we've done it so many times, I'm like, eh. Do it. Use Telly for uh, the pyramid. Do it. Use Telly? What Telly? Do it. You talking about this? The, the fucking teleportadium? Still be gonna be kinda slow. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. It's just easier just to go over here, grab this heart. We'll be we'll be good enough. I mean we already are gonna be We're gonna be at two hundred and fifty HP, then the, the holy mountain heart, two sixty. Actually, we may not even grab the Holy Mountain Heart. We may just probably just grab the heart in here. Oh, true. We could have used the invis and snuck past the bridge boss and got another heart. Dang. I, I didn't even think about that, no lava. That's a good point. Too bad we spiked that shit. It is. All right, let's check this out. Okay, the water is getting deleted pretty damn fast for Meteor, actually. So that's the heal over there. We currently do not want the heal. We want the extra HP thing first. Got that. Now we're healed. And we still have the Holy Mountain Heart if we need it. Alright. And we good. top there to make sure we don't accidentally walk we're not supposed to uh so we can get ready for a fungal shift now i actually have to leave behind though my pheromone because we need a fungus pouch hold on let's see if we can drop this upright So I guess the alchemist is dead. No, we actually got a uh, Greek letter that dropped in our first zone in the daily today. I just ended a goddamn run in the frozen vault uh, from Telkinet Kick, uh, blowing up a steel tank uh, of oil in my face. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's one of the reasons I'm not a big fan of uh, Telkinet Kick, things like that. It is strong, especially if you're speedrunning, but it's you gotta. You, there's so many interactions you have to be like ready for. <laughs> Pulling a tank towards your face, it just detonates. Fuck. What's up, Solar? Acid balls, I don't think we have any use for them. <laughs> Happened to you with the propane tank? Oh, pulled it towards you. Got smacked. Stay back. Right, I think we cleared out most of this area. I, I don't think there's been any hearts in this uh, regular... Um, mines area, has there? 
Or coal pits, I mean. Mines actually did have two hearts. Yay, fire. Chest? Oh, wait, there's a chest. Hold on, how did I miss a chest? Apparently, I can't even. Uh... Oh, wait, is it, uh, they said, where did I get it from? It was from a chest, yeah. I was like, how did I miss a chest? Thought I was blind. Yeah, there, in, if you play today's daily, there will be a uh, there will be a chest that, uh, in my case, it automatically opened on its own, like before I even got there. Something that had blew up the area, so it was uh, meteor and alpha were just sitting right next to each other. This spell and this spell were just sitting there, so, you know, which we used it to create this wand. Keep in mind, the only way that'll show up is if you've killed the alchemist in uh, some point in one of your runs in your history of Noita. Otherwise, your alchemist uh, will, letters will not be unlocked. Can I get to that telly guy before he tellies again? Oh my god. Oh! Yeah, we got him. All right, Chad, do me a favor. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for a fungus pouch because I'm usually really bad about recognizing when one of those is there. I'm gonna need your eyeballs. Uh, there's flum and freezing. I'm gonna get rid of that nest ASAP. Fuck the nest. There's a pouch near the top. Ooh, thank you, thank you, Solar. Some lava and some whiskey. Whoa, look at that. Not a bad find. Gonna burn up all the shrooms. Yeah, that don't that's why I want a pouch anyways. Pouch, all we need is like that right there, and we can create a mountain. Okay. You guys just dodging all the shots. New guys in the corner puking his guts out. <laughs> Assuming this is even the same daily I played, which it clearly isn't. Never mind. God damn it. Solar. This solar kid. Oh, that's a wand that was on the ground. Seems scary. Ooh. Some tellies. I was glad to have those. I don't know if this... I have to be careful because I don't know which are pouches or not. I don't want to just go shooting in there. In case it's a pouch and I destroy it. Thanks for the follows there, Duck and Fire Saga. Or Fire Sage. My apologies. Boom. Does Meteor damage you? Uh, so you'll notice. Oh, let me get. You'll notice the AOE burns me, but it doesn't hurt me. However, I don't. I. I. I just, for some reason, I was couldn't remember if the core point, if you're near it, if it hurts you. Um, chat was saying though it doesn't. But I remember the the large the larger AOE doesn't hurt you, but I didn't remember if you got really close to an edge, if that could fuck you up. It doesn't seem to be, but just lots of fire is pretty much uh, what people think of when they think of a meteor. Oh, well, I guess we found out right there. It didn't hurt us, and we just blew that up right in our face. However, the fire is really damn annoying. Ouch. Nope. Ouch. Nope. Ambrosia? Whoa, what happened over here? What the hell? This is weird. The crit on oil. Take it. Oh shit! I would have got hit by that telly had I not uh, had repulsion. Uh, also a good wand, but I don't have any free spots right now. Ugh. 
Is the uh, alpha from the High Alchemist? Uh, normally, yes. Not the one that we have, though. The one we have is dropped in the first zone of the daily today. If you have killed the Alchemist. If, you ne if you've never unlocked the spells in, the, in one of your past runs, uh, it's not able to drop in the daily run. So it'll give you different loots. Now, shop items. Shop items, you can get an alpha even if you've never killed the daily. Uh, if you never killed the Alchemist on the daily. But chest drops... Just drops, that's not so. I actually found that out not super long ago. Because uh, we were playing Noita. We were playing, was it? No, we were just playing regular Noita. And then Kristen loaded up the same daily seed as us. And he had a different drops. And we were like, what the fuck? And so then Latali did some research. And we found out that not all unlocks are truly available uh, on the daily. They are only kind of available on the daily. Depending on where you find them. Which in this case, the way that we found the alpha was in a spot that you have to have killed the alchemist before for it to show up on your daily. Toxic sludge. Chance for a hidden heart. Alright, it's getting a little wild in here. That explosion just, like, was non-existent. <sighs> S-Frost says, okay, I just ate half a bag of tortilla chips. <laughs> Eats one more chip. That's pretty much what I was like earlier, uh, before I passed out. After, after my run, I had to cancel out my run. I was eating some of those good old sour cream and onion Pringles. And I was watching, um, Hunter Hunter. And I looked down and it was like, I was three-fourths through the can. And I literally had just opened the can, like, that moment when I sat down. I was like, uh-oh. Probably not the best idea to eat the whole can in one sitting. <laughs> yes! Chad says, yes! Sour cream and onion! Sour cream and onion Pringles are like the basic ones, and they're like the best ones. They're amazing. They're like the standard go-to... They've been around forever, and they're still the king. Well, spark trigger is banned in today's run. However, we could use the arrow trigger if we wanted to. I do not want to use the new. No. Do it. Pizza and cheese are pretty legit, though. Pringles in general, mm -hmm. I, I like most Pringles in general. Like, I like the barbecue ones, the pizza ones, the cheese ones. I like them all. Um... But the sour cream and onion is, uh, as the kids say these days, goaded. It really is the best. Spark trigger is banned at the towards the start of the run. We're, we're, so we're doing a roulette run, and chat was wanting it to be a little bit more than a, just a regular roulette. So I said, fine, we'll ban the spark trigger in today's run so that we get a little bit of variety all right well we can't do a consume right now chat that's what you don't understand we need a fucking pouch if i do a consume here uh if i do a consume here what's going to happen is we will throw up into our flask now normally our fungal shifts are all supposed to be random but i did promise to do one maybe two um attempted uh what's the word i'm looking for will attempt to manipulate the shifts by holding a flask whenever we do it. Salt and vinegar greater than sour cream and onion? Get out. Get out right now. Mods, take care of that guy. For lying in my chat. How dare he? So you love Pringles? Then add this. I have seen this emote, the Pringles emote, but it is very penis-like, so uh, <laughs> let's not. <laughs> do it, do it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I have seen that used in other chats. Um, just the other day... Just the other Jesus Christ, Faro. Um, just the other day, I was in uh, Quinn's channel because since you guys have got me to play Terraria, I like to stop by and watch some of these random streamers that have been playing those Zenith seeds to learn a little bit. 
they're all like early games, so none of them are like where I'm at, but because they're playing like the super hard mode shit, and I'm just doing like the regular mode. Uh, but it's kind of fun because it means I actually will know the parts that they're doing. They're like, oh, I'm going to go fight the goblin army. I'm like, I remember doing that. I remember doing that. But uh, yeah, in his chat, they, at one point, they were spamming the Pringles. So I was like, what the fuck? Is that is that a penis? And I was like, oh, no, it's Pringles. Shop, please. It is about shop time, Ill. Give me one moment. We get to the next holy mountain. We'll open a shop. Taking notes from Quinn. Listen, I'm not necessarily taking notes, I guess is probably not the best way to say it, but I'm just trying to refresh my Terraria knowledge so that like whenever I play it again, because Chad has pretty much held my hand through it all, so it's one of those things that I'm probably gonna need to see like full playthroughs a couple times before I start to, you know, be able to do stuff on my own really. Well, I can do it on my own, but it'll be really, really, really slow. Quinn is the best installing. I thought I was the best installing. What? Somebody has stolen my title? That's okay. I'll let him have it. Damn it! Is there no pouches in today's daily? This is some this is some shit, you guys. The real problem. We could try to create a spot to do the shift. It's gonna be tricky though. There we go, this ledge will work, I think. Let's see, let's eat away the fungus. Alright chat, we're gonna do it. We have a flask of alchemic precursor. It does have a drip of water in it, but it also has alchemic precursor as the main. I'm gonna try to use this corner to cram my face in. But hopefully we don't end up throwing up in our own flask. Um, so we have to eat 180 seconds worth. Here we go. Alright, cram my face. Yo! Wait. It's everywhere, whatever it is! Not bad, not bad. Is it... Could you guys... What, what was the material there before? Toxic sludge to alchemic precursor? That's kind of badass. Wait, no, that can't... That's acid potion, never mind. I was like, there's there's toxic sludge right there. That's not a toxic sludge. That is acid. So... We should have quite a bit of alchemic precursor in our world now. Which means that we have pretty much infinite gold. Being on our patience. Midas time? Oh my goodness. Look how look at all that freaking draft of Midas. Holy shit. There, we'll pull out pour out that. And then we'll scoop up a bit of this. I think we got some, so we got we got a little bit there. No lava says read me. Read no lava. Hold up, hold up. What is he? What am I missing here? Uh, you have toxic balls in the holy mountain. Oh yeah, the yeah toxic balls. Balls are toxic.
Well, there you go. That's a pretty good shift. Today's daily really is blessed. Hey, and even led us right to a heart. So if you don't know how this stuff works, this is this is all regular. Noita, by the way. So if you load up today's daily, you can do this exact thing um, pretty easily. It's just a it's just a string of crazy Noita interactions. I'll break it down for you in one moment if you're curious. First, let me finish scooping up all this. We're rich. All right, so what happened here, if you are a new guy, here's the breakdown for you. At every seed, this is on every Noita seed out there, which the seed number you can see at the bottom left right here. Every seed, there are two random recipes that are created that change every seed. And it is three random ingredients. Three are chosen. And if these three ingredients are collide together, like come in contact with each other, they will create a blue liquid called Alchemic Precursor. Boom, right there. Um, there's another set of three ingredients. If they come in contact together, they create a lively concoction. That one is really, really good, but more rare. Uh, anyways, uh, so, and the reason it's more rare is because it disappears after it spawns after like a couple seconds, so it's less likely that you'll see it. Anyways, um, so coincidentally, in today's daily run, if you load up today's daily, uh, whatever is the ingredients for the alchemic precursor must not be crazy stuff. It must be common materials because somebody else mentioned they saw some in their daily too. So if I had to guess, it's probably like water, oil, and dirt or some, something like that or toxic sludge, oil, dirt, some, some, some common ingredients. Uh, Law of the Host says oil, soil, and blood. Okay, so oil, soil, and blood. Did, did, okay, so like something like that. that I, I'm not sure if 100% that's it, but that sounds like it could be it. Um, so oil, soil, and blood. Very common ingredients. So it coincidentally, today's seed chose very common ingredients that they actually, actually collided, created a blue liquid. So once you see the blue liquid, you have to, uh, the blue liquid becomes activated when like meat falls into it. When meat falls into it, it turns into um, it turns into oil, soil, and boil, <laughs> oil, soil, and blood. Um, once the blue liquid was created, meat falls into it. If meat falls into it, the blue turns into a gold liquid called draft of Midas, uh, which I always mispronounce and call it drought of Midas, and then chat baby rages. But uh, so right now, that's the alchemic precursor. So what we did is we took a flask. Uh, and we scooped up a single pixel of the uh, alchemic precursor. Then, when we were doing a fungal shift, we made sure not to accidentally put any other liquid in our flask. Because if there's other liquids, and they, it, the whatever and liquid no is the most common, the most popular in the flask, uh, will dictate the color of your flask and will be uh, the material that, it, uh, whenever you're holding the, the flask during the shift, That'll be the material that's likely to be affected. It could shift away. It could shift to it. There's a 75% chance that it will be affected in some way. Um, so what we did is we scooped up a single pixel of Alchemic Precursor. We ate enough fungus for a fung fungal shift to take place. And coincidentally, all the toxic sludge in our world got deleted and replaced with that Alchemic Precursor that we had one pixel of in our flask. So now we have it all over the place. We have tons of this liquid. So we just need, uh, anytime you see like the gold liquid, it means it likely uh, something died in the blue liquid and, and activated the gold, essentially. Coincidentally? Uh, coincidentally. Are you claiming hacks? It's the, literally the daily run. You have the same daily. <laughs> Look what I have cheated. Consume.
Alright, so we have gold everywhere. What else do we need to do here? Is there anything else we need to do in here? Oh, shit! The good, uh... Bath of it. Oh, you see right there? So there was some meat at the bottom. So you can see that it's slowly converting everything over. You see that, chat? That's a perfect example. So, and the reason that it just now took place... The reason that just now took place was because earlier we probably killed something in the toxic sludge and the, the, the body fell to the bottom. Then, when Alchemic Precursor, uh, toxic sludge got converted over to Alchemic Precursor, that body laying in the, in the liquid caused the Alchemic Precursor to eventually convert over to uh, the Draft of Midas. And then once it's Draft of Midas, this gold liquid, just anything it comes in contact with, uh, gets converted over into gold. Look at this. This is a pure 100% uh, draft of Midas potion, too. Not bad. What if uh, if Mina turned uh, to gold when in contact with the Midas? <laughs> well, people have died from a uh, draft of Midas before. Uh, in the early days when we were playing Noita together, Loopy Luke, in one of his runs, he had a uh, draft of Midas. And we were excited because we had a player that was going to be super rich and be able to give the rest of his gold. So he's running all over the place collecting all his gold. And you got to remember that anything that comes in contact with this, uh, any of the world materials, will convert over to gold. So if it comes in contact with an explosive, the explosive will detonate. Well, he didn't realize it where he was running. He was, it's just like going like this, running back and forth. And then uh, as he was running, the liquid ran into a uh, canister and it detonated and it killed him. Pretty hilarious. Well, that's an ambrosiaed up robo dude. Putting out fire with draft of minus because that's how I roll. <laughs> DuckTales. You guys want the DuckTales theme this for the whole run at this point? Goddamn ducks in the chat. <laughs> Grab something. What did I show up to? Nothing. All right, we gotta we gotta keep the ducks. Ducks, please contain yourselves. Don't become the weebs. Don't become the very thing that you sought to destroy. I am on fire. Let me test this real fast. If I shoot this right at my feet, it should just be fire burning us, right? Yeah, okay, so it's literally just fire that we have to worry about on this bad boy. Is this the daily? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So you have about 16 hours or something to try it out if you are interested. Wait, I thought this had this produced some toxic sludge. Does it not produce any toxic sludge off of it? It's all just graphical bullshit. Dash. We had a bunch of toxic liquid for all this uh, minus to be here. Yes, yes. Why is there no pregnant Barbie doll? Because Ken came in a different box. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't don't lull that chat. Don't don't encourage his behavior. <laughs> God damn it. Beyond says yuck. 
the degenerates. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Shop or more bad jokes? Yes. Is Ill? Ill, are you ready for the shop? Hopefully he hasn't given up on us. Hopefully he hasn't abandoned us yet. I may grab up that energy sphere stuff. <laughs> Dota now? No, Noita now. For now, just place these here. I don't know what else to do with that crap. And we grab up our water. There's Ill. He's ready to go. Alright, so let's open up the shop real fast. Quick break. Alright, let's get back to the uh, to the action. Orange dropping off 20,000 sweat. I see you, my dude. Luki says 8,000 for the hair. Yeah, good cosmetics are expensive, dude. No lava is not a... He's not, he's not a cheap artist. That makes top tier shit. Uh, hold up. I'm trying... If you're curious what I'm doing, I'm trying to get everything sorted out here. This is kind of a crappy teleport wand. Make that one a better one. That's a... Better tell you one. We'll put this up. We may need that later. We have 300 HP total. We have not even grabbed the heal in our first mountain, which is good. We'll go ahead and grab this heal now. And we never found a pouch. So we need to find a pouch so that we can start doing more fungal shifts. In fact, let's go ahead and go do, go do one more shift now. Jesus, Jesus, it's everywhere, man. All over the place. Let's go do one more shift now. And, um... So I, I don't think... Chat, I don't think I want to do a shift with, uh... Well, should we risk it? Should we risk a draft of Midas shift? Because if, 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 it, if it shifts it to something shit, then that means that all of our, um... All of our draft of Midas liquid will be creating a really shitty thing. Do it? Alright, chat says to do it. That's the boss. Nope. Oh yeah, I wanted to show, I forgot to. But yes, this does eat through all materials. The Draft of Midas liquid. So you can pour it even on things like, like steel. And it'll... Wait, chat's saying nope now. Nope, nope. Do Teleportadium instead? What the hell? <laughs> chat's saying don't do it. And now, at nope. first it was it was do it. Nope, now it's nope. don't do it. Do okay, it. most people are saying don't do it, chat. Nope. Can you get the slime gun from the holy mountain uh, before nope. you shift? Nope. Slime gun. Pull it. Does the Midas work on mechanical enemies? Uh, I don't believe so, because they have to be considered a physical object. However, physical objects such as, uh, I'm guessing those those crystals. It could, I bet you we could work on stuff like them, but that's that stuff like that. But that's not until later in the run. Uh, where's this this slime gun that you're talking about? I'm confused. Or slime wand. Pyramid boss? I I think so. That could work. I bet. Hey mods, how about a pole? Isn't the slime gun a Terraria item? Yeah, I, I, I'm guessing it is, but there was something that they wanted to see. I wasn't sure. The higher holy mountain. This is this is the highest holy mountain there is. But I'm, I, I don't even know what they're talking about—a a slime gun or whatever. Because like we have slime balls, I don't produce any. We just I just shot it earlier and showed that it doesn't produce any. Toxic sludge whatsoever. Uh, toxic sludge bullets, not acid. Slime trail. Can't tell what the hell the chat's on about. All right. Second shift. I'm 
trying to find enough of this, this crap, but it's everywhere. See, watch our character when we throw up. That's why it's important that you make sure if you're doing a shift with a flask material and you don't have much of the uh, alchemic precursor. Wait. We still have alchemy precursor. There's more? <laughs> Wait. It's oil now? Is that was that oil? Hold up. If it just changed oil to alchemic precursor, does that mean there's a chance that had we used, uh, had we tried to manipulate the shift with our flask, that we would have we would have shifted? Um, it could have been draft of Midas into alchemic precursor. So then alchemic precursor would have created alchemic precursor. It would have just ate up the whole world. That was toxic. Oh, was that a, that was a toxic one? I thought that was a, I thought that was the oil one explosion. Okay, so that's not it's not oil. I was not even paying attention. What is the new material then? Hmm. Curious. If we if we converted draft of Midas into alchemic precursor then Alchemic Precursor would create Alchemic Precursor and you'd have something that just deletes the whole world, right? I'm pretty sure. Slime? Alright, why do you guys keep saying slime? Okay, let me let me show you. Oh, you're, oh, you're saying slime is in the material. Okay, because now I'm getting confused. When people are saying stuff like slime balls, I can't tell if you guys are referring to what... Because earlier people keep saying slime balls, slime balls. I'm showing you. I'm shooting it. It does not produce any of that for those people who have said it like 50 times now. But no, in, in that person though that was saying, I believe they were saying they think slime material has been converted over to, um, over to alchemic precursor. Er, yeah, to alchemic precursor. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get your arson. I get your arson. Yes, I was saying that's at first. I thought that's what you were saying. You were like, now use the slime. I'm like, it's not. And then I was like, oh shit, he's just saying that he thinks that's the material like got converted. It is oil, I think. We'll find out whenever we kill one of these machines in a second. It's a rough enemy to kill because uh, that guy doesn't give a shit about explosions. And we're shooting him with a wombat. <laughs> oh, here we go. Get back here, worm! Wait. Does it not make them bleed at all? Where's the worm blood? Oh, there we go. Now it's starting to come out of them. some machines at oh look at these guys they shoot out the their their trail will have like a, a trail of uh yeah there it goes trail of alchemic precursor looks kind of cool you just stand here and let them drown the world in this Fine. What is going on here? Because Toxic Sludge got converted over to Alchemic Precursor, this is supposed to have a Toxic Sludge trail, but now it's an Alchemic Precursor trail. And then if we kill him, his corpse will fall into this and activate it. Oh shit, some other stuff already activated this. Well. 
See this corpse, whenever it falls into it, it activates the blue liquid. And you can see, see how it's eating away at the holy mountain? So gold does not give a sh the the draft of mice does not give a shit. It will it will eat away any material. Alright. There you go, there's a the machine. Yeah, it's definitely oil. Definitely, definitely oil. See, the body just fell into this. You'll see it. Yep, there it goes. Converts over. It's everywhere. Damn. Stuff was just flying out all over the place. What's up, Cal? Ooh. Hope you're doing well there, Cal. How is Lively Concoction made again, or isn't uh, that made, uh, wait, isn't that made with Alchemic? So it's like this, so picture, we're, we're having three ingredients got combined to create the first thing of Alchemic Precursor that we, um, we saw, right? Same idea happens for Lively Concoction. The difference that makes Lively Concoction more rare, kind of, is that uh, whenever it, Whenever these three ingredients come in contact, um, you usually don't see it coming, right? It just happens randomly. So we were walking along, walking along, and we see a couple blue pixels on the ground. I'm like, oh shit, alchemic precursor. That's, that's going to be awesome. We can use that. Lively Concoction will create this burst of green pixels that are only there for like, I want to say like 15 seconds or something, and then they vanish. So if it happens slightly off screen... And you're walking like if you don't if you don't happen to stumble across it within 15 seconds, it'll disappear and you'll never know the interaction took place. That's what makes it more rare to find. It's got like a fade time. Yeah, exactly. It just evaporates away. Shark says, "Please shift the Midas next." If I can find a pouch, we can have. Oh shit, we can have fun with this. But the game is saying no pouches for you. Which is really annoying. Oh yeah, if we get the perk oil blood, we will bleed alchemic precursor. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you start bleeding money? Oh, Kevy said there was a pouch at the at this uh, entrance. Really, Kevy? Are you a let's see if you're gonna be a lifesaver here. Heavy a genius. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Also, if you're curious, the uh, the alchemy precursor gives you this drunk effect. That's why my character is constantly drunk right now because we have that shit everywhere. That, that's not the pouch, is it? Oh, it is. Good thing I stopped shooting. Thank you, thank you. This has got to be the one that uh, Kevy was talking about. I think, I think this is right of the entrance. Empty out the bone dust. If you shift Midas into something else, will an alchemic precursor make the new material? Uh, yes, it should. It should. That's why, that's why I was saying that if we had done a shift, I think there's a chance that we may have accidentally skipped over a shift that we could have done where... Uh, Alchemic Precursor could have... So if, if Midas shifted into Alchemic Precursor and Alchemic Precursor makes Midas, then that means Alchemic Precursor would make Alchemic Precursor. It would be like an infinite loop and then the whole world would just like get deleted. I think that we may have just... Like, 
I, I don't know. I'd have to look through the shifts to know for, for sure, but we may have almost had that scenario just happen, but because we did a random shift, it didn't occur. Alchem and Priest Cursor doesn't eat the, the world. It would just uh, shift itself into itself uh, at the same quantity. Oh, I see what you're saying. That makes sense. Because earlier we saw it convert over. It went from blue liquid to gold. So, yeah, that makes sense. You would have to. You would need the one that eats away the material, which is the, the Draft of Midas. So, you would have to get Draft of Midas... And then you'd have to change the gold, the solid gold material. That's the only way you could actually have the world get eaten away. I see what you're saying. It makes sense, chat. It makes sense. So yeah, you have to turn like the gold dust into like draft of Midas. Then it would eat away the world. <laughs> that statue. That statue is horn. I see. I see. It makes sense. Uh, let me go grab some. Some fungus real quick. Yeah, that makes sense. It, 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 like, as soon as you said it, I was thinking, ah, because we, we actually were standing right here and it converted over earlier. And it's like, yeah, the alchemy precursor doesn't eat away any of the material. It just gets converted. So that, would, that would just be a really sad shift then, wouldn't it? You would just be like, you would have an infinite loop of something. Actually, that may even crash the game because it would just keep looping into itself, wouldn't it? All right, so we have some fungus. <clears throat> Wash off this drunk effect. So wait, indoor cat saying the shift has sludge slash poison slash ominous liquid. So you're saying if we found something that has poison, we will also have the alchemy precursor because they're in the same family. I forgot that they were in the same family, actually. That's uh, pretty juicy. Then again, I'm not sure if we've come across any poison related stuff so far. Could be wrong. <clears throat> kind of like, yeah, kind of like flammable gas to acid. Exactly, Rooster. <laughs> oh, God. My PTSD is kicking in. All right, so we're going to drop fungus from high up. Oops, that was a little too bit too. That was a crappy drop, but oh well. And the higher up you drop it, the more you'll create. And so we drop that. And then... Uh, chat, should we should we attempt the draft of uh, the draft of Midas, or is this gonna be silly? <laughs> Chats, do it, do it in this time. Do it, do it. All right, all right. Well, the whole lamp is saying no. All right, most people said do it. Most people said do it. I'm sorry. There's no going back. Oh wait, we have to. Wait, no, it's fine. We have a full flask of that shit. It's okay if we throw up in the flask now. Lava? Wait. Sweet mother of God. <laughs> We're rich! <laughs> Don't mind me just balling out of control. Oh my goodness. Think we got enough money here, guys? Think we're gonna be all right? And <laughs> now you have the ducktails. We're not necessarily swimming in gold. We're swimming in Midas. It's a big difference. Uh, it seems like so the the mighty since it's kind of still, it's sitting still. It doesn't really activate. You have to you have to like stir it to get it to start to interact with the ground. 
They just got stirred around. If I shoot it, what happens? I'll stop burning myself now. Remember, you have to collect orbs and kill bosses this run, not just fuck around with greed. That is true. That is true, guys. We gotta, we gotta focus up. You guys have distracted me. How dare you? How many shifts have we done so far today, chat? That's uh, three, right? Three shifts. We have to do six total. We've killed zero of the six bosses that we need to kill, and we've uh, collected one of the eleven orbs. Yeah, chat's all saying three. Drain it at the bottom. Drain it. The lot. The the Midas. Oh snap! So it all would pour out, and the whole area would get that would that would create a lot of <laughs> a lot of money. Um, but hold on though, let's get let's get things uh, organized here for a second. Hold up now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Well, uh, let's let's wait till we get like black holes or something before we do that, because uh, digging uh, the exit would be kind of a pain right now. We may need those bubble triggers because we currently don't have a trigger because it's the one that we're supposed to that we came across. We did ban it for today's run just to make it a little more of a challenge. All right. Let's. Get rid of that. Hold on to that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Goes up. Hmm. We're gonna place it on the ground for now. So we have lots of gold and lots of uh, draft of Midas in our world. Or lots of alchemic precursor and lots of draft of mice and lots of gold. We have everything. We're rich. That old tablet. Now we're gonna go kill the pyramid boss real fast. Dreadnought says, alright, you talked about it enough that I figured I'd come look at what this game is. Welcome to the noise of life there, Dreadnought. Kind of chosen a weird run to stop by your first night to run. It's uh, our world looks a little crazy. Well, right now it doesn't. Look, we're gonna, we're on the overworld, but it'll look crazy in a bit. Use Midas to kill the pyramid. Kill the pyramid. The pyramid boss. You can't kill the pyramid boss with Midas. Uh, at least I don't. I can't think of a way you could kill him with it. The door boss. The door boss. We can try that. You'd spike a flask into him or something. The whole pyramid? Oh, you want the whole pyramid deleted. Okay. Alright, come on, boss. Fight me! Fight me, you coward! Kinda does some shit damage. Oh, his mouth closed. Hey! There we go. I think he's dead. His health bar is all jacked. Um, Alright, so we grab the heart here. What'd he drop? An interesting wand. Hmm. The recharge time is kind of yucky, but that's are pretty crazy. Is the Sea of Lava spell affected by the shift? Yes. It will now be a Sea of Draft of Midas. So if we come across it, just remind me to grab it and I will. I uh, will grab Copy Random Spell thrice. And... That's about it there. Oh wait, is that copy random spell? I didn't even notice that one dropped. 
Um, hmm. Oh my god. Who needs health anyways, right? Well, this kind of sucks. I was hoping to glance. Um, actually, I know what to do. We are still going to glance in the overgrown. Grab that. So we have two orbs. We need nine more. Most pathetic boss in Noita. Pyramid boss is kind of like your your little starter boss, kind of. <clears throat> he is pretty meh. Um, it used to be even easier, though. That boss used to be able, like, you could burn him. Like, you could ignite him, and he would just burn to death. Similar to the way the worms can kind of burn to death. So, uh, people could, if you ever started with a flask that caused, like, you know, fire really early, people would just run over to that boss and just open up by burning him to death. Then the devs were like, no, 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 no. No more of that. They Name patched it. Chicken. Chicken. Please, please. All right, that's it. Chad is acting up today. Now, what did I do to deserve you guys acting up? We not gotten any double spells or anything. That really sucks. I'm trying to think of a way we could create like a okay telly wand, but the spread's gonna get crazy if we do much more than that. It's like, look, if we were like, hey, let's do something like this. Actually, it would even need to be... <laughs> the spread is so bad. Time to Lumi. We could try to put Lumi's in the front. Since they will fire off faster. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea, chat. Um, there was a wand earlier that had a redo spread. There was, that is true. There was that redo spread. Where the hell was that one, Lava House? I forgot. Over in the overgrown area? like it was there let me see some real fast Force it to cost the, copy, copy the luminous drill. There's four luminous drills. Shouldn't that be enough? No. Close though. Sorry, just testing out some, some wand crafting stuff. If you're, if you're curious, we were manipulating the RNG so that the, the copy random was forced to copy the Lumis drills. And then I was using all those Lumis drills to speed up the rate of fire of the wand. But it's not anything... I don't think it's anything that interesting there that, that we're going to do today. Considered it, though. Uh, yeah, we may end up going back for that uh, reduced spread soon enough. The first, with our 420 HP, blazing it. Uh, we're gonna go run over to the overgrown real fast. Try to pick up the speed in this run a bit. WTF? Five you Gus in silence? It's discrimination. By the way, 
Dunkbot works incorrectly, because it counts every weeb command no matter if it play or not. So if someone who is on cooldown uses one of command, it still counts to anti-weeb measure. You gotta remember, Kuba, that Dunkbot is reading all of chat. So, just just seeing you guys trying to weave it up is upsetting. Me, I'm able to look away. But poor Dunkbot is suffering at all times. So, sometimes it has to mute you guys knowing that you wanted to play the sound effects. Not because... Because I'm the one with the ears. Dunkbot just has eyes. Or the ability to reach at. Think about it. It makes sense. You might want to check out the secret room in Snowy Depths. Oh yeah, good call. Well, first let me, let me run over here real quick though. See what Overgrown has in store for us. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Exactly, exactly in DM. Nightclaw 2.0 will be a weave too. Doubtful. Going into the overgrown caverns. Honey, we're home. The fact that that wand's missing is very scary. What the shit is happening down there? This motherfucker is just copying my shit. This is dangerous. These guys have wands. Oh my god. And I currently don't have a way to kill them. I believe those are the ones that are just absorbing the explosions like they're nothing. That may be a move. So we are in Wanmar right now, and I gotta watch for that guy that is holding a wand. Because normally those guys aren't aren't near the edge, so they can grab wands up, but it does happen every once in a while, which we're in one of those situations right now. No, it means Dunkbot is poorly written. Nothing more or less. What? I wonder what will come out off Dunkbot 2.0. <laughs> I'm kidding. There is will be no 2.0. It's just meme. No, it is not a meme. It is reality. How dare you? Look at this wand, though. It's a pretty sick wand. For someone without explosion immunity, you're casting a lot of explosions. Just because right now, uh, the, the explosions that we're casting are player safe. They burn you, but they don't. Uh, the explosion damage won't hurt, uh, won't hurt me. You watch, I'll show you. If I put water on my head and I shoot the ground right beneath me... Okay. Nothing. Uh, kind of an interesting wand. Kind of. Wow. That is a boss killer, though. It can be used to kill the alchemist. Hmm. Let me think on this for a second. Just don't accidentally cast it, right? There's another one that got picked up. Scary how many wands got picked up in here. There's a double spell that I would have liked to grab. Come on game, just give me like a little something. 
Alright, we're gonna do another shift now just because we are running behind on our shifts. That's nice. Oh! Runestone of metal. Gonna catch fire. Yep, saw that coming. Hundred and twenty nine. Rune sort of alchemic precursor. Oh, On the day yeah. two point oh is out. U G U U. You have been time oh. out for ten seconds. <laughs> despair. Thank you, despair, for the love. P soup. Wait. What the fuck just got converted to P soup? There was a lot of it. I don't know. All right, but this rune stone is actually spicy. I was not even thinking. If we kick it, Hold on. you guys are not letting me test stuff. Fuck off. That was scary. Because remember, we are not explosion immune. So this. Damn it, I need to... Fuck it, we're gonna get rid of our, our draft of Midas potion for now. We can get some more later, I think. I wanna find somewhere with like lots of liquids and stuff, because this, this is the runestone of metal, which is supposed to... What, I forget, what all does it convert over? It'll convert it over to lava. Is it just all, all, because it shouldn't have been just metals and stuff, is it just... I can't remember the category, but we'll do some testing. Oh, it's metal to poison. I was thinking lava. So it's metal to poison, which would be metal to alchemic precursor. Wait, what in here is getting converted? Because obviously this isn't metals. It's Is it the gold material? Is that in the same family? It's been a long time this since I've even used this this thing. Let me try. Ooh, weakening curse. The go oh, it's the go oh, so it's the it's the solid gold or is it does the gold dust also get included in that? Because that would make sense while we're seeing some. I'm thinking, why are we seeing some? It's reality, you say? So can I touch it? Or see it? Hmm? Tell me? You see, I can't. I can't do it because it doesn't exist. You probably forgot to take your medicine, again. Chase, wake up. You are still on 34 <laughs> orb run. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Who was evil, I'm telling you. Well, we're gonna grab the runestone for fun. I wanna, I wanna use that in the Heasty base because all that, all that metal that's in there and stuff. That plus, if we use it on the lava lake, on the edge of it, it could be kind of cool looking. The sad thing is we haven't found any black holes with our time in here. Let's just get heading out of here. Already I'm missing way too much health anyways. You know we can't like buy heals or something. Oh my god. Good thing that wasn't an Uko. I thought I had checked this zone. Would have warped directly into Uko shot. Run would have been over. Do, 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 do. 
Is that poison mist? Uh, that's the, the toxic sludge mist. No, nah, it doesn't. It produces like a toxic sludge produces its own version of toxic sl toxic sludge mist perverse produces its own version of toxic sludge. If you cast a toxic sludge mist and then you jump into it and hold out a flask, it'll actually collect a liquid called, um, I think it's called toxic mist or something like that. And uh, you can actually shift that material, but yeah, it will, it'll still apply that that damn. Toxic crap. Yay, gold. All right, so all this gold uh, material, if we throw this down, yeah okay that's kind of cool oh shit don't eat up no that's pretty cool what's happening if you're confused is the gold material is wow. getting converted over to uh alchemic precursor the alchemic precursor is in contact with the draft of midas so it converts over to draft of midas and then it continues to dig Got to make sure that it doesn't get too close to my my stone here. Uh. Hold on, because it'll it'll delete the stone if I let it get close to it. Oh no! That's badass. What's up, Dread? It is the gold strat that we're running right now. No, no. Whew. Interesting. So this will get converted over, right? Yeah. Sorry, Chad. I know it's kind of it's kind of brain dead what I'm doing right now, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> like I, I I've never actually had this happen before, so I'm just sitting here like casting it. Like, huh? Makes you think. What else could be? You know what I should do? Go to that one. Go to the gold pit room, the 250k gold pit room, and throw this. <laughs> that would look really cool. But we don't have a way to get in there right now. The power plant? Yeah, the power plant would look really cool too. You guys are right. Fritz with the two-monther. This is fine. I'll sub again. Just tuned in. What's going on? A lot. A lot is going on. Um... Basically, we're using a stone that should be converting over, like, metals and things that are in the metal family. Like, you know, gold dust and steel and all that shit. It's converting it over to poison. It's what, is what this runestone is supposed to do. But, our poison in Toxic Sludge has been converted over to Alchemic Precursor. Alchemic Precursor creates this draft, uh, draft of Midas, which is converting the world over to more gold dust. The more gold dust... We can then convert again back to Alchemic Precursor, and the cycle continues. Yeah, we do. And yeah, lava has also been converted, which I want to. I want to try that out now. Let's see how this works. Let's try it over here on this edge. So we throw that down. Oh shit, how do I, there must be a way to do this without it having to keep picking it up. Pretty good spot. You can see it like taking place, it's like, it creates the gold, this converts it over to Alchemic Precursor, Alchemic Precursor instantly comes in contact with the Midas, but then it just keeps eating away. Huh. If we put it here, will it pour over like a waterfall? Oh, hold up. Oh, shit.
Hmm. On the rock above. Oh, that's a pretty good spot. It doesn't reach quite that far though. It's gonna. It's. It'll do for a little bit. I you love go. Right That's he the farthest it'll go. In sweat. Hmm. But we at least created a a waterfall. That's kind of cool. And then we can just create more. God damn. <laughs> Crown and aces with a prime ten monther. Yo, how's it going, Crown? Yo, dog. And then if we want to create more, we just throw this again. This is pretty cool. It's like pointless because we're already rich out of our mind. Like we don't we don't need more gold. But it's fun. No! Oh, if it falls into it, I think it'll instantly get deleted because the shit's gonna just it's a physical material, right? So I'm pretty sure it just the Midas will destroy it. So this is what they mean by golden showers. Yes, whenever you hear the term go- Oh no! Woo! I did not mean to drop that in the liquid. But yes, this is what they're referring to. Some enemy down there is thinking, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> no! Rudy says, now this is Noita. We're we're digging to the ore because we don't have a very efficient way to dig, so why not just use gold? I gotta say, this is the very first time I've ever dug to the ore broom right here using gold. Oh no. Oh, I got it. Wait, does it not get destroyed immediately coming in contact with that Midas? It seemed to do pretty well. Looks like it's safe. I kind of want to test it. Let's see. What if we nudge it slightly? Oh, I got an, I got an idea. We'll scoop up some Midas right here. And then we'll pour a bit on... Oh, it survives it, no problem. It's it's like a physical material, but I guess it doesn't black hole normally eat up rune stones. I'm pretty certain it does. That's unusual. That's badass though. What the fuck? And we can just sit here for the entirety of the run while the whole world gets deleted by gold. You should go to hell with this? Oh yeah, because hell's going to be filled with lava, which is now gold. Hmm. Oh, come back to me. Oh my god! Chad, close your eyes, you may go blind. This is the golden shower that we've always wanted. Consume? Oh yeah, it is about time to consume. Chat, this is shift number five, if I'm correct, right? Okay, I'm gonna end up acid. 
imagine if somehow acid was in this shit. Like, uh, it, it, if it converted over a uh, draft of Midas to acid, it would just sit in here surrounded by it. Sweet Jesus. Hmm. Looks pretty good. So that, see how there's this huge pile of gold? We can just convert the whole pile over to a liquid. <laughs> Which immediately gets converted over to uh, more draft of Midas. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot. We needed to visit that room down here. Uh, how will we do this? You entered Midas. So, it's... Oh, wait, what the fuck? Something hurt me badly. Is that drowning? Already? I like I was drowning fast. We actually need Breathless for once. For the first time ever. That wasn't drowning? You drank some Midas? Oh, did I? I guess I was trying to probably pick this up. Huh. Got a little bit of a problem here. Can we dig in from the side? I shouldn't have I shouldn't have poured that whole damn place down here because now we can't we can't quite dig down. I've been saying this for over an hour, you need breathless. Yeah, yeah, breathless would be uh pretty damn useful. It is blinding chat. Like I said, put on your sunglasses or something. It'll be fine. Every time I accomplish something cool in Noida. I visit and you're doing something crazy. <laughs> it's a coincidence. This is like, I don't know how I keep getting, keep eating something at the, gr the bottom. Just like some of that gold shit, I guess it's hurting me. Yeah, this is a, this is a crazy daily seed that we stumbled across. Maybe there is some kind of acid or some shit down there. I don't know. Press down, drink Midas. Yeah, but I didn't think I was close to the ground yet, quite yet, on that one when I drank it. Maybe I was, though. If you're curious, I'm using that to dig down to the, uh, the wand room. Oh, it could be in the moment that it's getting converted over from poison to alchemic precursor since poison deals damage. Woo. Does meteor blow up drought? I think we tested it earlier. It didn't seem like it was doing very much. It doesn't seem to. Stop picking up gold. You must stay at 69. We don't have any black holes. That's the problem. I'm using this jank shit. I also need to empty out this wall. This is super dangerous. The room is just going to fill with Midas too. That's fine. Once. Oh, wait. Did, did it happen? So close! We're almost there, chat. Uh, 
Uh, alright, I need to grab up that stone and I need to fucking try to dig into that room. Alright, here we go. Alright, we got that. Now. The gold is blocking the explosions. Hmm. I can't see my fucking- it's so gold, I can't see shit. We made it, chat! The most- oh my god! Holy shit! Well, it was worth it, chat. That's definitely a mine moment. Mine, mine. Let's go ahead and uh, glitch this out. Remember, you press E and 4 at the same time. It's very easy. So, uh... Okay, I'll show it to you in a second, exactly, if you're confused. Actually, wait. Mine, 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 mine. First... Disarm that. Chat. Chat. Quiet chat. <laughs> Is there mine? 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 Chat! Usher yappers! Alright. The hell out of here, chat. God damn it. I'm busy! All right, uh, luminous drills here. My, my, my. All right, and then we are going to drop that for a second. So again, it's really easy to pick up an extra wand. Uh, if you ever see a wand that you're wanting to grab, you just press E and 4 at the exact same time. So just so like E and 4, and then this screen comes up. Then you just press 4 by itself, and there you go. These spells are not actually dropped on the ground, it's just a visual glitch. Very easy. It's time to stop! The weebs get muted? It's time to stop, okay? No more! Wait, I'm confused. Did the weebs just get muted during the people spamming, spamming mine? I don't know what just happened, honestly. Literally 1984. <laughs> God damn it. We don't even need that. Have that for fun, I guess. Um, yeah, we finally have a digging wand. That's cool. That's nice. Unfortunate placement for that wand. There we go. Now we don't need to use the meteor setup anymore. It is a win. Ok, 
Okay. Whew. I completed Bethany on Tainted and Tainted Bethany on Isaac today. Congratulations there, Fuzz Puppet. Congrats, congrats. That's some polymorph right there. Not oh, fuck with that. Where did I put my teleport? There it is. Uh, chat, the concentrated spells was in the, uh, ooh, we'll grab that. Was in the fungal area, I think we said earlier, yeah. May end up having to go for that at some point, but then we just found a double spell, so who knows. Then again, let's wait and see. Alright, grab this. Our health is looking pretty nice. We run over here, we see Steve, we laugh at Steve. Oh crap, Steve laughs at us. Unlimited spells. I don't think we need unlimited spells for anything, right? No. Grab this. Put that there. Hmm. Water to poison in the shop? <laughs> pretty cool pretty cool put it put a we have a drop we have a drop of dra uh, uh, draft of midas in here i think <laughs> ta-da science you guys want to kill the fish hold on let me i need the water though <laughs> need some of the water if I spray this out, we'll... Yeah, there it goes. Do that. And then... Ta-da! You monster! You told me to do it! What the hell? I was just reading the chat! Hmm. <laughs> Full Metal Gold Alchemist. I like that. <laughs> I like it. Um, I think we're gonna lay down the copy ram spell thrice for now. We need space badly. Put up uh, water to poison for one of our digs. Lay the dig down. Grab extra perk, because why not? Alright, so I've been waiting to get here, because this level actually has lots of steel. Not as much as the power plant will have, if we were to go there, but... Just clear it so I can actually see where the hell I'm going. Alright, so if we throw this down, all the metal here should convert over to uh, Alchemic Precursor. Okay, and then as the alchemic precursor comes in contact with the Midas, it creates more Midas. I dig it. Oh yeah, the vault. The vault will definitely be spicy. Wasn't even thinking about the vault. Make a elevator. Elevator made of gold, is that what you're saying? I love the fact that the stone is not destroyed by the Midas though. That that surprises me. I did not see that one coming. like a tablet wait does the tablet not get destroyed by Midas either I guess the reason I assume that those got converted over to Midas is uh, you gotta remember at the end of, at the end of a run if you throw your tablet it just turns into gold
Tablet doesn't react to anything. Ah, but at the very end it does. <laughs> at the very end, if you throw that tablet, it's just there's a gold. Saw that in the room. Oh yeah, there was a tablet in the lava lake. I wasn't even paying attention. I well, I was too I was too distracted with you know my eyes bleeding from all the gold. Didn't even see it. Oh my god, that was a terrible spot to do that. I wasn't paying attention to the canister. <laughs> oh, there goes a chunk of my health bar. Hey healer, um, kind of need you to heal me. Many months later. Ooh. Okay, okay. Damn it. Healer's moving cautiously, I don't blame him. Oh, there was another healer. There's a broken wand, we could turn that in in a second. <laughs> What's up, JJ? Wait, did the numbers in your name change again, JJ? What'd you do? What'd you do, JJ? War crimes? <laughs> it's not a war crime if he walked into the shots, right? He jumped into the bullet. Has to be intentional. Water to poison, time to visit the lake? Oh yeah, we could convert that whole bad boy over like real quick. Oh look at that, the sausage room! Hey, he's throwing sausages! What's up, dude? Sorry your stove is broke because we converted lava over to Alchemic Precursor. He's angry. He's throwing sausages. How dare you throw those sausages at me? Consume. Consume the meat? Well, you get nothing. You have to cook the meat for it to give you anything. Oh, wait. This is a perfect guy to... Oh, shit. He's got a melee. Wait. If I can hurt him like that... No. Don't heal him yet. Hold up. If I hurt him... Like so. And I can get the healer far away from him. I think I can get the healer to heal me. Does it the consuming the sausages doesn't do anything for us? They have to be they have to be cooked sausage for it to be helpful. Why isn't he throwing any more sausage? Is he like ma is he maxed out on sausages? He's all out. He ran out of meat? All right, well, back to business, I guess. I mean, he only has so many. Want all the meat. Oh, healer. All right. Pick that healer. Pick that healer. And those guys try to come and ruin the fun. I think he may have just... Hold on. Heal me up real nice, boys. God damn it. What? Son of a bitch. I accidentally kicked a piece of, like, shit on the ground and it kicked right into him and killed him. <gasps> Motherfuckers, man! War crimes? They literally shot their own healer! That is not on me. Oh, 
It was a setup. There's another healer. Rich man contributes to war crimes. <laughs> it wasn't a war crime. They fucking shot their own guy. I will not be held responsible. Lazy to dig all the way, so let's waste our telly. Hold up. That was literally all of my telly. Uh, wow, that's uh, it's pretty disappointing. I didn't have a free spell spot anyway, so fucking. Um, does Midas eat glass? Honestly, I can't remember. Let's find out. I think it does, but let me check to be 100%. Let me go grab, let me go grab some real fast here. <laughs> oh shit, look, dang, this is, this seed is all about the rare stuff. There's a 3% chance for this hut to spawn. It's a garbage hut, but uh, it's still rare. Oh my Jesus! Okay. More chainsaws. Sure, sure. Convert everything over to gold. Alright. Consume. The worm blood? I can't even see it now, honestly. It blends in with everything else. Oh, I need a pile of the, uh, the liquid. There we go. Pretty certain it does. Yeah, it does. Yep, yep, yep. Oh shit, the telly got out. Escaping. <laughs> it's, it, uh, this is this is a rough run for somebody to join in the middle and fully grasp what all is happening around. But uh, this is non-modded. This is regular Noita. We have just gotten a crazy chain of events pretty much going on. Um, <laughs> the To catch you up to speed, we were doing fungal shifts. Which, wait, chat, do we have any fungal shifts left? I think we have one more fungal shift remaining. Oh yeah, the broken wand. Thank you there, Roel. I forgot. One shift still missing. Okay, thank you, thank you, Gartip. Appreciate you. I, I, could, I almost forgot about that. Hopefully this last shift doesn't fuck us over. But... Basically, we found Alchemic Precursor, we shifted some materials into Alchemic Precursor, one of the materials being poison. This stone, this stone converts metals and steel and like gold dust and all that into poison. Since poison is now Alchemic Precursor, when I throw it, it all turns blue. The blue comes in contact with any of the uh, Draft of Midas and it makes more Draft of Midas because Alch Alchemic Precursor happens whenever the blue liquid, which is Precursor, comes in contact with meat. Then it creates uh, Draft of Midas. From there, when Draft of Midas comes in contact with any blue liquid, it makes more of it. So we can just keep spawning, like, tons of that stuff. And the reason it just creeps, keeps creating more and more is because you gotta, don't forget, this gold dust, the, the gold that the Midas is creating 
is then is then another metal material. So if I if I throw this out there, that gets converted over to the blue liquid. It just it's a cycle, man. It just keeps going. Uh okay, I'm gonna leave this here for one second. Hopefully it doesn't destroy the whole place. Alright, throw the broken wand down. Not a bad wand for sure, but I don't really want to let go of my chainsaws or anything right now, so we'll leave it. We'll let it be. How many worlds for broken machines? Uh, I think five is the standard. Though you can do it in less, I usually do six worlds just because you'd rather have extra machines than not enough machines. If you have not enough, it will really suck. If you have extra, it's just like, oh, I wasted a little bit of extra time, you know, making these. Wow. Some fire immunity. That would be pretty nice. Our health is pretty high up. Uh, we got the heal there. Would machine gun uh, shoot alchemic precursor near the? Yes, it would. In fact, I'll try to stop by and grab that. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's considered in the whole uh, metals category. Well, actually, it would only shoot it if I have this out. If I have the stone out, you know. Oh yeah, let me go. Turn all this shit in real quick. Hold up. Water trail plus water to poison. Oh yeah. Wait, let me. Try that. So water trail um, and water to poison. Both of them are attached to these. So when I shoot it, it's kind of weird. It's like it's like maybe if I switch the order, it seems like the water has to like spawn in first. Still cool though. Right. Let me try this out down here. And you'll get a good look at how, see how it's all blue? Well, I'm gonna spray just a single squirt of, of Midas in it and watch this stuff. It'll start to all convert over. Gonna go. Little squirt. Oops, I forgot my my damage weapon actually <laughs> is the thing that we put this stuff on. I'm sorry, Chad. I'm sorry. There you go. We can convert it all over. I gotta remember that the heal is there. This won't lag at all. <laughs> of course. Dunk, you're a madman. <laughs> Kilgore, thank you for the love. Appreciate you, man. It's really like just a blessed seed, right? Like it wasn't like I saw it. I, I when I started this run, I wasn't like, hey, let's make the craziest shit. It just kind of all happened. Uh, let's do our final shift, though. Yeah, what's some kind of some kind of grand scheme that I had going? It just it all came together. Um, we have a setup to do an explosive projectile wand if we want to. Get rid of the quad for now. Oh, we already have one of these, actually. We need either of them. Uh, I don't think we'll need that or that. Put this up. Uh, poison arc! I didn't even notice that. Which actually... Okay, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> I set up my levitation. Oh, shit. Almost fucked that up. Uh, if we... Do something like... Actually, that may be fine on its own.
Looks cool. Uh, yeah, very Andre. I hadn't even noticed it until you, yeah. Thank you for pointing it out. Um, because I sometimes I I will miss the obvious. It's like we're trying to we're, we're we were we were spawning water, then converting the water to poison whenever we poison arc was available right there in front of us if we really wanted to. Cool shit. Uh, click nine thousand. Thanks for the follow. But you need water to poison for the lake. That is true. That is true. This is true. Spiral arc. If we wanted to, we could put a spiral arc onto our wand here. What does this look like? <laughs> now, what would that look like with that with that freaking uh, poison setup? Why am I moving so slow? All the spiders bled on me, didn't they? Move that there. All right, what does this look like? Oh, snap. That's a pretty cool combo. Yeah, flashbang. This is definitely one of those runs that it kind of hurts your eyes after a bit. That, that's the anti-bitrate wand? I think you're right on that one. I apologize to the users out there that are now watching in 180p. <laughs> God damn it. I can't see anything. It's like it's like back when we played Vampire Survivors and people were like, Go! Oh, my bitrate! I don't see anything. 180p is all you need? True. T heal says 180. I've got two. <laughs> two, P, two P. Yeah, we are gonna need breathless soon if we can get our hands on it. If you're, if you're curious why I'm sitting here, is because don't forget the goal for today. We need to collect 11 orbs. We need to go. Let's just do our final shift right now, so I no longer have to worry about it. Oh my gosh, it is laggy. Oh fuck, I forgot to... Hold up. <laughs> uh... Just don't have enough space for stuff. Crit on oil? I'm sorry, crit on oil. We have to leave you behind. I love you, but you're gone. Spark bolts. I'm gonna hold on to that single spark bolt. Bubble trigger? Double and bubble trigger we'll put down. Put both of these chainsaws up. Put the poison trail up, move that over. Okay. Lag is strong and thick right now. Guys, we need to use this real quick so we can farm some more gold. Worth like 300 gold, chat, potentially. Worth it. Man, I keep having to wash off that slime and then I get more on me immediately. Alright, this looks like a pretty good spot that we could... Ow. That we could do the fungal stuff. Alright, here it is. No, oh, it's burning! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Right, take two. No! Oh, there's so much fire! Alright, I know the perfect spot to do this. Oh, no rock. Okay. Perfect spot. Huddled right next to the dragon. Sure, sure he won't mind. And we're gonna let RN Jesus take the will on this last one. See where it takes us. The final shift of our um, six shifts, six uh, fungal shifts that we're supposed to do for our roulette run today. RN Jesus, we're gonna take a snow. Snow. It better not have affected all of our good stuff. 
Alright, I still see the good stuff. Why shift now? I have to do six uh, fungal shifts uh, for the roulette run. So now I can abandon the fungus. We don't have to worry about this uh, fungus anymore. We have to collect uh, eight more orbs and we have to kill five more bosses because we've only killed one. Uh, I'm not crazy about this wand setup on the dragon, honestly. It doesn't really do that great a damage. Fuck it. Do it. Do it. It's fine. Ooh, electric arc. We could definitely not use this wand until, um... Until we find some kind of explosion immunity and electric immunity, because there's there's so much damn electricity in this place. Do it. Do it. I left the heart there. I know. Do it. Wanted to see. Do it. Do it. Do it. So we're gonna have to return back up anyways to see what the snow is, but also because I forgot to grab those orbs up there. Luckily, we don't have to worry about fire anymore. All right, screw it. We're just gonna take the uh, the hearts. <laughs> yeah, I wanted a heart mage, but I figure, you know, we already have so much health. We have six hundred and thirty. Not really that necessary. I think we can still goof around quite a bit and not get completely punished. We left the heal in the jungle, so let's go uh, in the jungle holy mountain. Go up. Next heal will give you very nice HP. <laughs> Just as I planned it. <laughs> We're rolling in the HP now. 690. Damage plus? Yeah, maybe we take that damage plus there. I can't really decide. I don't know if I want to deal with the kickback right now. Part of me says yes, part of me says no. My mind's telling me no, but my body's telling me yeah. Magic Guard. Yeah, I'm gonna put this wand here for now. I Magic Guard's a good way to kill the alchemist, but I don't plan to. Ground control, thanks for the follow. Hmm. Quite the spicy run we have here. Uh weakening curse for uh projectiles is still gonna be our way to kill some of these other bosses that if we need to. So just move forward. And actually, we're gonna, we're gonna stop by the what's that place called the the frozen vault. I think it's easier to get it while we're on the surface now rather than later. the brown stuff or brown stuff oh yeah there's a lot of brown stuff SEMA it's SEMA which is a Finnish uh, it's a it's a Finnish drink it's like it's mead usually in Noita if you see SEMA it's around the the holidays because uh, it'll it spawns in the game around the holidays So snow has turned into alcohol. Is that what it is? Yeah, because some of it, some of it. If you're curious why it's still white, every once in a while it doesn't graphically change, like doesn't change the color, but it, it has the properties of SEMA. Hmm.
That's a lot of gold. We're finally back to the surface. It's actually kind of a scary fight. Well, it's not really scary because we're low health or anything like that. But, I mean, uh, we, we don't have any of the good immunities to, to work against the Alchemist. So, we're going to be fighting them straight up. But we're going to be using the... We're going to be using the Luminous Drills with Ping Pong. Oh, if you're curious, some people may be curious why the Luminous Drills are flying around like that. That's because the wand hasn't always cast Ping Pong. I should have pointed that out a long time ago. <laughs> some people are probably like, why does the Ping Pong, why does the Luminous Drills move like that? That's the Ping Pong. The Ping Pong modifier is free anyways, uh, but we had it as an always cast, so why not use it? Uh, there's the Bam Lam trophy, which uh, we hadn't seen Bam Lam in a while, but he stopped by actually uh, just the other day. Uh, I think it was not, not yesterday, but like the day before. Family was in the channel. If you don't know, that's actually his trophy that was put in the game by the devs for being the first person to ever do a new game plus 28, 33, or boss. If you translate the trophy, it'll literally say Bang Lamb. Throw the rune near the trophy. I don't think it's... We'll try it. I don't think it has any effect on it, but we'll, we'll do that. Let me kill... Let me try to kill the alchemist real quick here. Remember, move in like little cycles. I'm just cycling around him right now. Get that guy out of here. Remember, he's gonna shoot where, not where you are, but where you used to be. So, don't dodge back into the same spot that you were just standing. Oh my god, he's fucking taking forever on this shit. Close on that one. Oh shit, hold up. There we go. Doo, doo, doo. I I you can you can be much more aggressive on that fight and just like lay into him. It just sometimes I like to be a little cautious. But yeah, realistically I probably could have stood above him above him and just laid into him and, and got that over much quicker, but gotta be careful. Um Moo, Tau, Omega, and uh the wand refresh. Um, doo doo spells. Tau at least is not the worst. We'll take Tau. Um, try to remember with Omega. So it's every spell for 300. Hmm. Lord Movement says, bro, what? Moo and Tower? Awesome. Moo is cool if you're doing like a, a heavy modifier build, but that's usually for like later runs. Not really something you're doing like your standard run. Uh, Moo, in case you find a mana to, to power to, to make a high DPS note wand. Hmm. I think we came across spell, uh, mana to power actually already. No, Jose Lex, I'm not ignoring you. I'm trying to decide if I want to grab that that wand refresh. We already have an alpha. We have Tau now. We'll grab the move for now, and uh, but there's a good chance we'll end up dropping it later without really putting it to much use. So we have our three uh, we have our three orbs right now. How are we gonna kill the bridge boss? Have we come across the materials to kill a bridge boss? We have we seen any plasmas, chat? I think we did. Bridge boss cheese. Spin. 
you're curious where we're going, we're heading over to a kind of a deadly zone that we usually don't head over to this early. But my my thought process is this level would look really cool throwing out this. Okay. 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 I'm afraid I'm gonna accidentally delete this fucking thing. Where's my stone at, man? I can't see it. Did it get deleted? I think it did. No. Some bullshit what's happening here though. The reason it's scary is you got to keep in mind that uh, there's a lot of electricity in this area. And if one thing conducts electricity across all that gold, I would have just died. We've lost our, our, our fun stone. Not that it was necessary, but it was fun. Put up with another one of those motherfuckers coming up again. Freak out. Yeah, Lumi fucking shredded the stone real quick. But even when it got shredded up, it was still it was still intact. So I I, I could see it I could see the pulse, you know. I was trying to move towards it and deal with the bullshit that was coming after me. And one of the shots must have hit the sweet spot on that and did away with it. Oh my god. That guy is holding a wand and fucking shit up and it's explosion damage. Now we're not going to get to convert the... The gold, o I mean the the vault over. Rip. What a wand. Audio is definitely getting scuffed. We're getting there, chat. Oops, did not mean to jump right into the center of that. There's a heal right there. Probably should grab that for infinite heals. Seems smart. Ow. Why that damn venomous curse to me? Oh shit. Is this the far wall? Yeah, it is. Whoops. Gotta start going to the left now. Acid is flum. Oh, is that? I didn't even notice. I thought it was like a like some kind of uh, air material. Like uh, the 
Like freezing vapor or some shit. Gas, a gas material, I should say. There we go. Uh, there's an orb. Yeah, it is flum. <laughs> Just got hit with the flum slurp. Where did we enter in here? From over here? No. No, maybe. Is this a 36 orb run? No, no. This is a uh, 11 orb run that we're doing right now. That is scary. A little bit of gold right there. Just a little bit. I think this is... Where's the spot where my stone died? I think it was right here, wasn't it? Right about that area. Rip. My precious stone. It was cool though. Oh, I really it was wish a fun you time. See this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Uh, Gimp, thanks for the follow. Uh, in Bond, uh, Brosno with the nine month. There, I almost called you Bosno. It's Bozo. Brosno, thank you for the nine months. He says, I'm going into labor. <laughs> I'm having a baby. Thank you for the nine months there, Brosno. I appreciate your nine months of supporting the channel. Much appreciated. Which, um, now we've killed two bosses. So we have four bosses left to kill. And we have seven orbs to get. Seven orbs to get. So the seven orbs, I'm not too worried about that. It's just, how are we going to grab that? Uh, I want to I grab the bridge boss orb and kill the bridge boss. And we don't have like the greatest killing the bridge boss setup right now. Lee says, damn, people resubbing and don't call them bozos. <laughs> Listen here, bozo. Uh, all right, so we have a timer, <laughs> and we have a heal. Which, if we want to, we can put that there. Alpha, cast a copy of the first spell on your wand. Put the heal in the first spot. Healed. Um, it doesn't really matter the order of all this. Well, this wand is cool. I don't think we're actually going to need it. But I will strip the spells off of it and place it in the ceiling. So if I want it later, I know where it is. Uh, Alk, oh, we killed three bosses. Did I say two? Alk, Dragon, and the Pyramid boss. So we have three bosses remaining. All right. So Bridge boss, Door boss, Colmy. Then we'd have six. Now just to figure out our Bridge boss kill. Cat has wanted us to cheese them. <laughs> Which I guess all the methods we use is pretty much cheese on them. Hmm. <laughs> Not hugging Tiny today. Tiny doesn't deserve any love. There's all the snow that got converted over into Sema. Uh, okay, I misclicked and dropped my main wand. That could have been really scary. How the hell did that happen?
Oh, which earlier I guess I was explaining this. I might as well show it. Um, yeah, we can show it right now. So I'm gonna empty out my Midas flask real quick. You take the snowy temple orb? Yes. Yep, yep, yep. You know, wait, the snowy temple orb. You mean the um, frozen vault? Uh, giant explosion on drunk enemies. Holy shit. Could that have fucked me up right then? Not sure. May have almost just died. Uh, okay. So whenever you cast the toxic mist, some people earlier were getting excited because right now our toxic sludge is, uh, alchemic precursor. Uh, but as you can see, it still is toxic mist. If you're wanting to mess with these mists and have them do other crazy wild stuff, you wouldn't be trying to change toxic uh sludge over to something else you would want what you would do is so i'm going to cast it and see this flask right here it's empty right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring out my empty flask and i'm going to jump into the mist and you'll see uh actually i'm going to cast it again a fresh one so there's the toxic sludge and then there's our empty flask you stand in the center of it right so we're in the center of it and you can see that our flask is starting to fill up with a liquid as we're here let me rinse off real quick uh, and see if you hover over the flash, you'll see that's a toxic mist post potion. This is the material that you would want to do a shift with. So you would eat fungus, you would hold this flask, and that is the material that if it shifted to something wild, you could end up with some pretty crazy effects, right? Because this toxic mist, as you can see, still see how it still applies the uh, the, the toxic effect. But if if you shifted over toxic mist to like. I don't know. Let's pretend you got you were able to to get healthium or lively concoction into the. Um, let's pretend you were able to get that into the shift the 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 shift pool. Well, if you were to manage to shift your toxic mist potion over to healthium or lively concoction, it would make it whenever you cast your toxic mist that it would apply a heal to you immediately if you could. What it, so for example, if toxic mist gets converted over to blood, it means the moment I cast this uh this toxic mist, it'll hit us with a blood stain. If I can, if I convert it over to water, it'll hit us with a water stain. So hopefully that makes a little wow. bit of sense. Uh, do do it, do it. Okay. So to the, I was explaining the lively concoction stuff. You wanted me to do that? That's not really up to me. That's uh, Oren Jesus's will right there. Uh, but we're not gonna. We are. We already maxed out our fungal shifts today. I just. I know some people were asking about it because they were curious. Since since our toxic uh, sludge got converted, they wanted to know what what the toxic mist was like. I was making sure they understood why the toxic mist wasn't affected. Uh, anyways, let's heal up now. Just keep everything scooted over one. Actually, not so sure. Like this. Right, it is about shop time, isn't it? This guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. All right, I need like some better way to bounce this shit off the wall. Uh, Donnie boy with a 24 month there. Thank you there, Donnie boy, for the the love and support. I appreciate you for the two years, my dude. Two years, chat. Uh, all right, we're healed up. I was like half paying attention, just reading chat, checking the. Thank you, chat, for showing uh, sweaty love to all these guys who support the channel, though. Uh, Mr. Dunn, could you explain what the uh, apical apical difference are of the different homing slash aiming modifiers? Uh, yeah, sure, Grav. Um, let me pull them up real fast. And even then, I'm sometimes I'm really bad, so don't just take it as a general piece of advice uh, for each homing. They they there's still little things about it. Sometimes I mix up. Uh, but your your general most basic homing is just this homing. You shoot it, the projectile will be pulled um, towards the enemy, the closest enemy. Right, that's homing. Short range homing, same idea, but a smaller range, meaning the projectile has to get closer to the enemy before it will start to pull towards them. Uh, rotate towards your foes. Rotate towards foes, uh, it's an interesting one because a lot of people tend to get a little confused. And there are moments that rotate towards is actually the best version of the homing to have on the projectile in certain scenarios. But the idea is your projectile needs to have like a velocity on its own it needs to have some momentum on its own. it needs to be able to move like a spark bolt for example when you shoot a spark bolt it travels on its own when you shoot a mist a mist just sits there so if you apply homing to this to to oh man i just threw them all on the ground if you apply homing to this mist and i cast it 
it will run after the closest enemy. If the enemies are here, the, the mist will pull towards them. If you have rotate towards, the mist will rotate, but you wouldn't. You would never notice anything. You wouldn't. You, it would just. It would just look exactly the same because it isn't being pushed forward. So think of it like this: uh, rotate towards is kind of like the steering wheel on a car that's uh, just just fucking going right. You can steer it, but it's you know it's already traveling on its own. If it if it's already going up, you don't have to hit the gas or you're like rolling down a hill. You're just steering it. That's rotate towards. But if the car is just sitting still which is the projectile not moving, and you turn the wheel, it doesn't it doesn't affect anything. You'll just be in the same spot. That's rotate towards. So if you ever put, put rotate towards on something and you're like, this result is terrible, it's likely because uh, you are you have nothing. It doesn't travel on its own. Um, and then auto-aim. Auto-aim's a weird one. Um, it's like on the moment that you shoot the projectile, it's supposed to be, I think, facing... It, it, like, for example, if... If you are normally going to shoot directly in front of you, but there's an enemy slightly to the right, whenever you shoot it, it'll just it'll shoot out to the right instantly. When it when it, it this one's very unpopular. I haven't really seen too many things uh, that I was impressed with on auto aim. It's a little weird. There may be some great uses for auto aim that I just haven't quite you know what I mean locked onto. So auto aim, I, I don't want to speak on too much. Just it just shoots it towards the enemy. But that's that's the reason you think well that's that's just as good as homing, right? Not really because. Let's say there's an enemy um, behind you, and you're wanting to shoot forward. Usually, the downfall to homing is you shoot, and it'll pull the shots that way, right? Well, you shoot it, and it'll kind of like it'll like hit the brakes and turn. Well, now with auto aim, it will literally just try to fucking like yank that shit directly back, and you could end up hitting yourself. Uh, and no, it's just it's just not nearly as good. You just have to try it out. You'll see what I mean. Uh, I've never been very impressed with it. But again, maybe somebody will come up with a really cool build that I'll be like, okay, now I'm seeing the value of auto aim. Uh, accelerative homing. This one is interesting. So it's it's homing and acceleration combined. Um, the thing that makes it really suck is like let's say you're shooting a shot and it's like it's really hauling ass, and then all of a sudden an enemy gets nearby. You're like, oh sweet, it's gonna, it's gonna accelerate into him. But with the moment it sees the enemy, it like hits the brakes. It goes, Arr! it like stops, and then it starts to accelerate towards the enemy. It's still not bad. It's still like it's pretty much like a version of homing. They're very similar. I just hate the fact that it like hits the brakes before it like it just like pops off. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. Shrinky says accelerated homing uh, nearly zeroes the speed when in range, then speeds up. Exactly. So think of it, think of it like homing. And in fact, in homing, if you shot a homing mist, you you really wouldn't mo notice much of a difference in accelerated homing and homing. You'll notice acceleration kind of like fucking, it can get really get going fast. But um, it's just some builds will actually suck. If you have a projectile that's traveling and all of a sudden it stops and then it starts traveling again, that can really fuck up your build depending on the, the kind of thing you've done. So that's accelerated homing. And then aiming arc. Uh, this is another one I can't, just like the auto aim, I can't really speak on too much. So the projectile rotate towards the direction you're aiming. So like it, it, it uh, based on your, uh, uh, based on your cursor, it it will like rotate the thing. I I I mean I don't really think of too many. I can't think of too many examples to give with this one where you would like like it. I don't know. Homing boulder teal says. Yeah, I, I, aiming arc is another one. Just like the auto aim, really don't use them a lot. So doesn't mean it's garbage. It just means I don't have any builds in my head that I think of when I when I you know come across those. Um, squad, thanks for the follow. Rotate towards uh, uh, is good for ping pong luminous drill. Rotate towards is good for ping pong luminous drill. I could see that. I could that could be pretty cool. Yeah, because they already got their own. Uh, they already got their own. Momentum going right. They're already hauling ass. There was a there's a specific build that comes to mind when using rotate towards. I I don't know why I'm forgetting it right now, but it's usually the one I use as an example because it uh, is preferred. Oh, the um, acceleration build. There is a uh, oh shop shop as well. Let me let me finish this one explanation. Then we'll then we'll uh, do a shop. The acceleration build. So there's a build with a bouncing burst where the faster it you can get it traveling, starts slow, and you get, you want it to at the end of it when it hits an enemy, you want it to travel as fast as possible, right? This build is one of the best builds in the game. It does some of the most damage in the game, but you have to make sure you use the correct form of homing on it if you want it to shine. Because let's say that you use 
uh, regular homing on an acceleration build. So it's meant to be like a, a, a bouncing burst, starts slow, and then it goes, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then it goes boom, and it hits an enemy for thousands. Well, if you have regular homing, and it starts going, boom, 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 it starts bouncing really fast, and then an enemy walks by, it'll go, and stop, and then like try to try to fly at that enemy. It doesn't necessarily stop, stop, it like pulls towards them. So like, if the enemy is here, and, the, and the, it's traveling this way, it'll kind of like slow down so that it can try to try to make it over to the enemy. That's where rotate towards shines. It's like if you're if you had your foot all the way down the gas and you were just steering in different directions, like you're still hauling ass. Um, so this is what you like to you, you see rotate towards uh, foes used a ton on acceleration builds because it, you're just still accelerating, hauling ass. You're just trying to steer it in the right direction. Um, needs piercing too. Yes, yeah, piercing, but make sure you put piercing in the right in the right place. It's uh, piercing is only necessarily for the, like the boss builds usually because on regular enemies they just get one popped anyways. All right, let's do a quick shop here. Pain reminded me. Let's get down to business. We got we got to focus here, chat, because we are currently lacking in orbs. Bosses, I'm okay. I'm okay with the bosses. Um, I just got to find the bridge boss kill, and then and then we're set. Let's go grab up our orbs and uh, we'll pop off. You're probably gonna want the plantar cosmic to shop for the next drawer stream. You got it, yeah. Thank you for the reminder. You the best, as always. No surprise. Oh shit! What did I do to my ad mana? How dare it! How dare you guys not remind me? It's all your fault, Chad. And you know what? I don't forgive you. Luckily, here I'm always here to fix your mistakes. There we go. Oh, Shvingy dropping off 5k sweat. For those people that dropped off some sweat deposits, I will glance through those in a moment. I'm sorry, I know I'm doing a bad job with keeping up with them today. I've been doing that several days lately. Missing all them sweat deposits. Ooh, you thought you had me, didn't you? Look at that. Sometimes you gotta be slick. I was impressed with myself, okay? Ooh, homing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> it was Jason Bourne, all right? That's the reason I didn't dodge his snipe. It's a difference. You nothing personal, that guy. <laughs> nothing personal, kid. Quack! Smacked him right in the face. Why are the enemies uh, bleeding blue goo? Uh, are the regular enemies bleeding blue? It should only be the ones that are bleeding um, the toxic sludge and dunk the hedgehog. Let me let me see. Was it, oh, it's something that should have been bleeding oil. oil. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the oil ones. Oil, toxic sludge. Oh, my God, that could have been bad. Whew. He followed me all the way there. Yeah, see, these guys are bleeding just regular blood. So, yeah, it's only the ones that have been uh, hit with fungal shift stuff. that one worm that went after us earlier? Is this where he was at? Guessing so. Let me check something real quick here, chat. Homing goes up. Health goes up. Chiefs has finally rolled credits. Time for a, a few special credits. Hey, congrats, man. Congrats on the dub. Farming that win. Oops, he smacked me.
Oh, I know where it was that I saw it. I think it's the shop. Isn't it? I think it is. I was sitting there, I was like, I know I've seen one. Oops, did not mean to grab the refresh. That's kind of annoying. There we go. Back to normal. The refresh makes it where this has charges and we don't want it to because the alpha is already copying it. We have, if that has charges, then it's gonna slow down the order of our wand. It's a whole thing. So it's better to have it emptied of charges. We have one free spot for it. Seen what? I was looking for a plasma so that we can use it to kill the boss. And I, I, I'm pretty certain it's the shop area. I was like, where did I see a plasma today? I could be wrong. Maybe I'm misremembering. Yep, there it is. Ta -da! Ta -da. The only way I won the first run was with the circle of trans uh, transmutation and infinite spells. Hey, that's a win though. That's a that's a less cheesy win than my first win. My first win was just invising my way to the to the end, playing that shit like you know, I was solid snake, just sneaking around. And uh, I mean, obviously, even the devs would agree that it was a pretty pretty cheesy win for my first dub, but I was proud of it because uh, they later, uh, you know, it's later was patched that uh, some enemies can still see you when you're invis, but back whenever I got the win, like, no enemies saw you when you were invis, so you could, you could really cheese it up. Let me dump out this toxic mist potion. I don't need this crap. If you're curious, the liquid just evaporates, like, immediately. Alright, we have that. Oh, and I just remembered, chat. I have to grab this freaking wand we passed up. Where is it? It wasn't this wand, was it? Nope. Wand, where are you? This one. Because we need the eggs from this wand. Yes, the eggs. <laughs> That's how we're going to summon in the door boss. You have to throw eggs at him. I'm still learning wands, but damn, I love uh, coming back to Noita to learn a few th uh, more things. Hell yeah, man. I, I agree. I agree. There's all And there's always something to learn in Noita. That's what makes it so awesome. The beginning, though, a lot of people get a little they get a little turned off to the game because they're, it's so overwhelming. But once you have that foundation of Noita knowledge, it does become so fun to like just keep stacking more and more, you know, learning more and more stuff. All right, I think we're gonna do away with the water trail, water to poison. I know it's kind of fun, but we're done with it. That's... Do we have nothing else to... Damn it, we gotta use this, don't we? That, homing, short homing, uh, and plasma cutter, that's gonna be something. All right. Little Gremlin says, I'm in the overwhelmed status. Yeah, and I mean, I feel you. That's that's my whole motivation whenever uh, it comes to like making the videos or why I go on so many rants on Noita because I'm always afraid. My fear, if somebody kind of getting in the overwhelm phase, because it's the beginning phase, right? And not making it to the fun part, right? And Noita, if you can get to that, just get to that fun part, right? Up, just get to the beginning. It gets so good. And even in the beginning, it can be fun. It's just some people uh, can get frustrated, and I can understand it, right? Because, you know, like me, I was able to dedicate a lot of time to Noita. But some people, you know, they got jobs, they got work, they got whatever they need to do. Me, they can't they can't no-life it like I was, right? I was just fucking no-lifing Noita. So it's able to be fun when you know that you're, you know what I mean, you're building on this foundation very, very quickly. But if somebody has other priorities in life, they're like, damn it, I don't have I don't have a thousand hours to waste on this game. <laughs> I want to get to the fun. Um, how do you just turn the luminous drill into a projectile? It's just the ping pong. That's it. So like if you see, uh, I'm gonna even remove everything off the wand. See, it's just just a luminous drill. The wand has natural uh, always cast ping pong. But if you so if you ever find the ping pong modifier, 
uh, just just put it on there because it, it would work the exact same. Uh, and ping pong costs zero mana, so it's free to use. Uh, but in this case, we found it as an always cast, so I said, fuck it, we'll just put it there. So whenever I shoot it, see, it travels out there like so. And even then, it's it's on a pretty good statted wand. Like, look at the stats, that's solid. One one Luminous Drill by itself, it doesn't even drain the mana, really. Do you have a video about the basics for wands? I don't get the stats, uh, which one is good, a uh, wand or not. If you type exclamation mark new in the channel, I have a longer video. It really doesn't, it probably doesn't break it down super well, uh, little, but what I do is I, uh, I do an entire Noita run and I talk to a player as if it's their first day of playing Noita, but they've played for a few hours at least. So they have, they have some very basic understandings of the game. Uh, but even then, I don't know if it's good, if it's detailed enough to really help you understand all the, the stats of a one necessarily. But it's a good it's a good place to start if you're willing to spend some time. Basically, uh, my goal when I made that video for new players, even though it's like an hour and a half or a two hour video, is that should save a new player roughly 40 to 50 hours of gameplay, if not more. So it's not like, oh, an hour video for an hour. Like uh, if you would have played the game for an hour, you would have figured it out. It's like, no, it should save you uh, minimum 40 to 50 hours of Noita. Uh, possibly, you could argue a couple of the facts maybe save you 100 plus hours of Noita. So, I, that, that's my hope. No problem there. No problem. I have lots of videos on there, though. So, those longer videos, they can be rough to watch. But if you have a specific mechanic in mind, you can scroll through all my videos and you'll see I have tutorials for, for specific mechanics, too. Sprinkled in uh, with the long videos. Alright, let's, uh, let's go kill us a bridge boss. <laughs> Chainsaw rapping can save you hours of ranting. <sighs> These guys. Uh, so you decided to make Chainsaw Rapping uh, the movie? <laughs> Dr. John, what the fuck? <laughs> Chainsaw Rapping the movie. What the fuck? <laughs> That's pretty good. Where the hell are we? That looks so weird. Huh. Ground is jacked up. We're pre-digging a route here uh, to be safe with the boss. <laughs> Lee says, hi Dunk, can you please explain which deals more damage, nukes or canisters? Clearly a brand new player here, Lee, so I could break it down for you. Canisters actually do. That's not a joke. There we go. Write that down, kids. Canisters are deadly as fuck. New guys in the corner puking his guts out. Uh, we done, yeah, shifts. We're done with the shifts. Uh, Cobra and Dylan, thanks for the follows. Why are we not playing together anymore? Uh, Hanka, we play uh, every other Saturday. We play um, our multiplayer community Noita Day. But today uh, is last Saturday we played, so today's a, a, a break week. So next Saturday we will be back on that multiplayer action. Good old Noita. Noita together. Alright, so this boss kill is going to be really straightforward. Uh, hopefully I don't fuck it up, but uh, Plasma Cutter. We're going to be shooting Plasma Cutter right here. The plasma cutter, we put homing on it so that whenever we shoot it, it'll run towards the boss. Uh, whenever the boss gets hit by the, uh, the the plasma cutter, the boss says, oh, you think that's a plasma cutter? This is a plasma cutter. It will spawn a fuck ton of his own. And just like the plasma cutter is dangerous to the caster, like so. See how I can, I can get hurt by my own pla plasma cutter? I'm trying to show you, but I'm doing a bad job at it because we have a, we currently have repulsion field to keep it as kind of safe. <laughs> Look at it. I can't even. I, it's hard to even hurt myself, honestly. There you go. Point is, the caster can hurt himself. Same goes for the version that the boss is going to cast. The boss can hurt itself with uh, with its own plasma cutters as well. So, uh, we're going to heal up real quick. Oh, yeah, I forgot we can't heal up because I took the thing off of it. It's no big deal. Uh, all right. Grab that. And then the boss will spawn in when I touch this point right here. So we gotta be ready. Touch that point. 
We shot out the shot. Uh, I don't know if we hit the sweet spot. We did not. Let's see if we can get that over the edge. Oh, there we go. Oh, is that a good shot? So this is the worst of the plasma shots, by the way. There are, uh, there's other plasma cutters that you can use, or plasma shots. The plasma cutter is like the shittiest one for, for doing what we're doing. The other ones, he'll blow himself up much faster. Oh, come on. That was, like, right beside him. Short range homing, you suck. What are you doing? There we go. Okay, that was kind of scary. Yeah, the other plasma cutters will just tear him a new one. This one, it's like, it doesn't even look like it's that good. You're like, eh, it's not even special. And it's like, not nah, special, it's just... This one specifically is not great. Is he going above? I think he is. Yes, he is. Oh my god! If you're curious, I use this to this ground to kind of put a, a protective zone between me and him. Just gotta gotta hit the sweet spot. This plump, tainty area usually extends into the tail, and there's just something about it. Woo! That could have been scary. I think we caught him good on that one, didn't we? Let's look. I really didn't, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see how clean it hit him. Yeah, there we go. See, see, they all started firing off. It's like you have to kind of get them in a in a in a chain. Um, sometimes you, whenever you're shooting it, it's just barely walking and, and getting clipped by the edge, so it really doesn't do much. But whenever that one hits him and he spawns another one and he spawns another one, it'll do this like real fast chain reaction. He blows himself up pretty quick. But it was uh, definitely was resisting it for a bit. Nothing here that we even want. I mean, the stats on the wands are okay. Mm. Here we go. So that is boss number... Four? Yeah, boss number four. So we don't... Lumi doesn't work. It, so the, the reason you wouldn't use... Okay, I'm actually stuck. What the hell was happening there? Character couldn't get out. So the way that boss works is whenever he takes a damage, for for most for most things that hit him for damage, you'll it'll trigger iframes. So if we were to shoot these ping pong Lumis drills at him, yes, there's a ton of them all rapid firing real quick. One of them would hit him and he would have iframes. So it'd be like you you're able to hit him for one luminous drill worth of damage, like every I don't know, so many so many seconds. Which it ha he has projectile resistance and stuff too. And, uh, yeah, you would end up basically just being in the fight for a very, very long time. So instead, you want something that can kind of bypass his iframe stuff, which is what this is all about. You can you can get him to obliterate himself with uh, without triggering his iframes. His invincibility frames, if you're confused. Uh, do you get danger? I have not got the danger five. Not yesterday. Uh, you mean day before yesterday? I still got... I'm going to get back on Brotato, though, Lion, uh, uh, soon. So that we can try to get that danger five. I was so sad, man, because I was like, I was like, I guarantee we'll get a win today. I guarantee, and then I just kept, kept just failing over and over. But uh, hey, I suck at Brotato, but I will not give in, right? I will, I will revisit it again soon. Soon. I got, I got to learn the way of Brotato. I'm just, I just play like a potato. Dunk got his ass kicked hard. It's true. I won't deny it. It is true. Plasma cutter, we don't need you anymore. Hmm. Risk of Rain 2? I've played Risk of Rain 2 before. Not a lot, though, but I played it on stream with uh, with uh, peeps in the stream. Did we forget something? We're at 6. Hold on, let me, check. Let me do a, a mental count of the orbs. Uh, number seven will get in the vault, the seventh orb. Uh, orb number eight we will get uh, by the Master of Masters. Oh, the bottom of the pyramid. I knew I forgot something. I knew it. I've been forgetting that, that orb a lot lately. Don't know why. 
Sorry, chat. A little bit of a detour, but uh, the reason I want to go grab it now is because it's very. It, it would be very slow to grab it later. So let's either do it slowly now or super slowly later. The choice is yours. Uh, hold up. Where's our? There it is. So we already grabbed the pyramid orb. At the below the pyramid, there's another orb. This will be orb number seven for us. Eighth orb we'll grab in the vault. Ninth orb is by the Master of Masters. Tenth orb will be in Hell, and the eleventh orb will be at the bottom of the frozen, uh, the frozen caverns or whatever. What happened with the shifts in Midas? A lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> We're done. Our shifts are. Uh, we did our six shifts for the day, though, because we had the challenge was to do six shifts. We've done all of those, and uh, we've been. Uh, oh, there was a. There was a heart mage that we could have used a long time ago. We're left with like half of our world being filled with Midas. You'll see more of the Midas and all that once we get down to hell. The whole area is just going to be filled with Alchemic Precursor and Midas and all that kind of stuff. Mainly, mainly Midas. No reason to fight all those guys. Nothing for us to gain. All right, there we go. Did you play the Risk of Rain 2 DLC? I don't think so. Um, wait, the DLC is the free stuff, right? Like, uh, isn't it just updates that they put out? Or is there like a paid DLC? Because I don't remember buying any DLC. You didn't do six random. Oh yeah, we didn't do six random. We did four random, two, two, uh, that we held on to Flask doing it. Normally they're all random, but since we had the Alchemic Precursor and Midas show up, we decided to mix it up a bit. And so we always are doing random shifts. And uh, we actually got lucky with them. It's a paid, oh wait, the pay they have a paid DLC? I don't even remember that. For some reason I was thinking all the DLC stuff, like all the updates they put out were um, the, f the free stuff, just like new content. I'll have to look at it, I, I, don't, I don't think I've played that one. Uh, oh yeah, this was supposed to be lava, by the way. This is a lava lake. But that's why I think Hell will look pretty cool, because Hell is supposed to have tons of lava and stuff, and it's going to all be Midas. Some Risk of Rain 1 before 2. I, I do want to check out Risk of Rain 1, especially because you were saying that you you like, you like know you preferred Risk of Rain 1, which I know Risk of Rain 2 is, is the more popular one uh, by far. But uh, I am interested. Especially because they, so, they look so different. Is the Midas potion color the same as Ambrosia? It looks pretty damn close, Lodger 7. I don't know. It looks very fucking close. I mean, to me, it looks pretty much the same, but I'd have to have them side by side to know. Like, I feel like it's like slightly different, maybe variations of orange. Aren't you colorblind? Yeah, I am colorblind. But colorblind doesn't mean you can't see... You see all colors poorly. Only some colors do I see kind of shittily. And it's mainly... Mainly like the red red to like pink are my colors that I struggle with the most. And even then, I still can tell they're red and pink. It just... It's just a little bit... A little bit blurry whenever you put them together. Holy crap, we have a lot in here. Um... Shouldn't have spawned all this. Oh wait, damn it! There was Ambrosia, we could have checked out the difference in the color. Actually, here, I know what to do. 
Colorblind equals C's black and white. <laughs> exactly. And that's what my teacher thought in junior high. She thought I was literally living life in black and white. Damn, look at look at the comparison between the the two of them. It is like I think I can, like up here I can't really tell much cuz it, it's hard it's hard to say. But I'm looking here at my character. I can see a like one looks browner. Just found out you were colorblind. Came out of the purple, not seen in. He is another master. What? <laughs> what? The hell are you on about? It came out of the purple. It <laughs> came out of the blue. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Goku, thanks for the support. Uh, Velva, oh, the portal respawned. I guess the, the teleportatium moved back into the, to the eye. Another explosive projectile, which uh, we could make use out of. Grab the dice, because the dice is always nice. Some dissolve powder, sure. Mm, I don't think we're going to do any kind of explosive build, but we'll grab it. Oh yeah, this would be a... Uh, I totally forgot. This would be similar to the other one. Huh. <laughs> Because oil is alchemic precursor, it's alchemic precursor trail. Good, good thinking, chat. Good thinking. Reininger was right. And then it comes in contact, a little bit of uh, Midas, and here we are. Hold on to that for now. It's beautiful. You like it, chat? Yeah, I'll put, it, put a little bit more down since we we're enjoying the colors. End up drowning in it. No! There we go. This would have been a fun level to throw that stone that we had if I hadn't accidentally deleted it. Acid is flum. Um, but yeah, we could have thrown the stone down and gotten lots of. Alchemic Precursor. Missed opportunities. Sag. So this is a level we actually have something we need to do in this level. We gotta head to the bottom left. That is where we're gonna be go... We're gonna go collect one of our orbs up that we need. Is there a heart under this? There is. Hidden heart. Always check your meat. The meat has hidden stuff sometimes. We go, we're at the bottom, and now we're going to the left. Breaketh is flexing. What are you what are you flexing about, Breaketh? Oh my god, that's chaotic poly. That's a that's a way to end the run right there. Is it Noita flexing? Does crit on burning work with the fire arc? Uh, I think, so most things work instantly by having them in the same combination. They'll just work by default without even the enemy applying the, the material. Like for example, if you have water trail or water material and crit on water, the water does not need to get onto the enemy for it to crit. It'll just instantly crit uh, the moment you fire it. Crit on burning, I think actually has to apply the burning effect before it, um, before it will crit, if that makes much sense. I don't know if that makes much sense. Um, look at this. A, a, a Brotato player flexing his danger five. I don't, oh, the, the doctor? Was that, does it not tell the doctor? Does it show who? Oh, yeah. Wait, no, that's, isn't that, that's not the doctor, is it? Wait, which, which class is that? That's the slowing one. Oh, I thought that was the healing thing for a second. That's a taser that slows them. 
Is that the explorer? Let's see. I thought it was the medical things. That's the mage. Elemental damage. What what weapon were those? Is that the is that the, called the taser? It is a taser? Okay. I gotta I gotta learn my, my broke tato stuff. I gotta educate myself. Alright, keep heading to the bottom left. Keep your eye on the prize. Don't get seduced. But there was that that eye spawned and instantly I deleted it. You need that eye if you're looking to fight the forgotten, which you can get it on the surface. Digging along, dip into the water, and there we go. Orb number eight. Yo. We get in there, chat. We got three orbs left to get. And then we have two bosses left to kill. The door boss and then um the final boss, Colmy. Why does my Orbit LARPA black hole wand not transmute lava to blood despite having the modifier? I don't think the uh, payload, the stuff that's delivered, uh, doesn't keep the modifiers on them, if I remember correctly. For example, you can't do like a spark trigger with a payload and then LARPA that and then it also, all of its shots off of it, deliver the same payload. You know what I mean? They're just spark bolts at that point. How are you going to kill 11 Orb Colmium? We have a couple options. We do have the explosive projectile build, double explosive projectile. That is, that's a maybe. Um, I don't know 100%. We have the, the weakening curse. We could do some kind of setup uh, with the weakening curse. I'm gonna do some rolls here because I don't want any of that uh, or any of that. Or any of that. Repulsion sector is not bad. Man, I was hoping for something fun. None of these are that fun. Zero spark bolt. No, no, I use spark bolt as an example. Like I was saying, I was saying if you have a spark bolt trigger and you put a payload in it. And then you LARP at that that the initial spark bolt. It's not like all the spark bolts that fly out of it would also carry the same payload. They're they're gonna be just like naked spark bolts on their own. The same applies for modifiers. If you apply modifiers to the basic projectile, the ones that are spawning off of it are back to being the basic projectile without the modifiers. Whether it be a trigger deli delivering a payload or a modified projectile, it just is like a naked form of it. I guess I'll take the crit. Looks like it's damage. It is damage. Uh, we'll grab the explosion weakening curse. We could use it with the explosive projectiles. Maybe. Poison arc, you're out of here. Look at our health. No mage tricks either. Just uh, lots and lots of HP today because we have that uh, the stronger stronger hearts. So, one thing that we need to do right now is set up our egg wand. So that we can throw eggs at the uh, the door boss. But what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to spike... Um, there's a heart, heart mage right there. I'm going to spike this flask into the boss's face. Because remember, this boss is a material boss. And I honestly don't know how great it'll work on him. But I'm curious. Oh, snap. Let's not uh, zoom right into his arms. Set up an oil trail wand. Now that's a cool idea. Bait the boss into like a pool of it. That's a that's a really cool idea, actually. Let me let me 
clear a path and then we'll 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 prepare it. That's a I like that idea a lot. Something tells me you're not going to be running out of gold anytime soon. They're pretty wealthy. Yeah, Reininger, give me a moment to... Oh, shit. Prepare the zone, and then we'll go back and grab it. I heard a freeze go off just now. Shredding them all. Well, I just spiked my fucking ambrosia. Luckily, I didn't spike the good flask, though. Uh, okay. There's the boss. So, what we're gonna do... Make a slight change to the plan right now. Very slight change. Damn swapper. Just keep running. I guess you puts on glasses, dunked, and slammed that ambrosia. Where my name comes from. Or how many flasks I just spiked directly into the ground. Heart Mage, I accidentally smacked him a bit. Okay, now we can add the oil trail on there. And actually, we should probably do that. A nice setup here. So, normally, um,. When this comes in contact with uh, Midas, any physical material that it touches, it converts it over to gold. Now for this boss, I don't know if that should be, if that's going to happen. I'm curious. What we're going to do, we're going to spawn a ton of this stuff. Alright, and then we're going to throw three eggs at the boss. Okay, if I can get near it. God damn it, the... The Drought of Midas is breaking the eggs. One. Two. Well, let me touch the ground somewhere. Three. Alright, try this again. Take two. No! I need the Midas liquid. It actually can hurt quite a bit. There we go. This is, this is a good amount of this liquid. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, they seem unfazed. Well, that's Sag. Killed one. Killed two. Oh, shit. Killed three. This will be the last one. We'll have officially killed the door boss off. Killed four. So, Midas does not kill him in the same sense. I guess it's the enemy attributes that he has. Makes it where he doesn't just dissolve away to Midas. But hey, had to try it out. Good to know. So smacking those green crystals uh, will turn a uh, chunk into Curse Rock. Yeah. Yeah, and remember that Curse Rock hurts a lot. So you got to be very careful. Um, in fact, I can show you something. Run over here real quick. See, see this Curse Rock? Whenever you whenever you touch Curse Rock, that's whenever it pumps the damage. So watch me cram your look at my health right now, 1072. If I cram my face in it, look at that. You see how much damage I just took to us? 
So don't go thinking that if you just if you just step along the cursed rock, yeah, it does hurt a bit, like for the moment when you touch it, and every time you move on it, but you really got to be afraid whenever you cram your face in the ceiling of it. That's when people you see people with like 300 health. They see an enemy, like I get scared of it, and they'll they'll jump back, and then when they do that, their health bar just goes whoomp, and it'll just you're just dead. So cursed rock. If you have to touch cursed rock, you would rather stand on it than levitate into it. Is what you need to know. And 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 it and its mo its damage is based kind of like off your movement. So if especially if you have your ham your head crammed into it and you're moving, it is just gonna obliterate your your fucking your health. Chris. <laughs> Finally, Chris Rock slaps back. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my god, actually fucking stupid. Oh shit. <laughs> Go me with the fuck. Well, I need for this drunk effect. Fill up, damn it. There we go. The mana back. Egg is no longer needed. Tau goes up here. Hmm. See, the purple crystals, they shoot off explosives whenever you kill them. That's an earthquake one. This one's the uh, the cursed rock one. That's a cursed rock one as well. Oh my god, oh my god, there's a poly shot. Woo! Not looking to end the run now. He ain't looking to die yet. And see, oh, there's another poly shot. Dodged him. So when you see this guy, you know there's a crystal around that's not one of those that has a bad effect. See, this crystal right here, this is the one that's like an like a player. It's not a player, but an enemy crystal. So kill that bad boy. Get rid of the tick guy. Problem solved. I actually got to kind of watch out for this guy here. You have to be very careful with that guy. He can actually do tons of damage to you if you fuck around with him. Normally, you can just leave him, but I, I wanted to kill him. Oh my god! Whew. The gold destroyed the crystal. I didn't want. I thought. I thought if I get stuck with that cursed rock, I don't want to die. All right. Well, let's go. Uh, find a portal real quick here. And just like that. Oh, heart made shot. Go over here. Little wand shop at the end. I always like that. The some there's actually some of these. We could we could. Hmm. Could do something nice, chat. A little light on the orbs, yeah. Not quite where we want to be, but this is going to be fine. This is going to be fine. Uh, Iron stomach, so that way whenever we... Oh, nope. Hold up. Hold up. Roll them. And the shield. And that's... Sure, sure, sure. No wand tinkering, yeah. No wand tinkering, but that is fine. That is fine. Here's what we're gonna do. Our 
bolt. We're actually leaving you behind for now. Go back up. Oh, wait. I got to grab. That's... So the three orbs that we need... I got them kind of mentally noted. Actually, wait. We can do this now. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. We go... Let's here for a second. Dormant crystal would trigger... Teleport. We're gonna throw this down. Let's... Okay. But it is correct. We're going to go over here. The boss. Is the no wand tinkering perk uh, ever really useful? Not really. Oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Nobody ever really takes it. No sane person ever really takes it, I guess I should say. Um, Randy, thank you for the five month there. Says, sup, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Going pretty good. We're just having a, uh, a roulette run going here that uh, we're getting uh, pretty deep into right now. We're getting towards the end. We stored a teleport. You saw that? How we stored a teleport at the boss. Um, basically, I laid a crystal down that had a teleport inside of it. Uh, I put this teleport inside that crystal, and I dropped it at the boss. Now, remember, the discovery that was made that I have a video about uh, talks about how that area does not unload around the boss. So, all we have to do now is go back up and grab the detonator, and we can just use this to warp around real quickly. And it's actually going to be perfect for us. You'll see. Uh, oops, I got to put the heels back, don't I? Actually going to come out perfect, I think. Every sane person will take it once. Uh, if not for completion, then uh, it is to know... Uh, what it is like to shoot them uh, self in the foot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can actually... So, when they originally added it, uh, I think it just did no wand tinkering. I can't remember what... But they, they, I think they made some modifications to it later. But it's... No wand tinkering makes it where all your... When you kill stuff, I think you have like a 5% chance to get blood money. And then they also made it where if you have no wand tinkering, but you also have edit wands everywhere, you can edit in the Holy Mountains only now. Some shit like that. So you aren't completely fucked. You would just... If you ever accidentally grab it and you're in a long run, you don't have to be super sad. You can just be like, alright, I just gotta go find edit wands everywhere and I can recover this run. But if you don't have a way to get into parallel worlds, then then you maybe should be crying a little bit. Because you may need to go to parallel worlds to find that perk. In this wall here. Nothing worth a damn. the hell? Yeah, I went straight through the ground or something. Am I already here? Yeah, I bypassed it. Whoops. Got it. May need you. May need to borrow your brain, chat, but hold on, we'll see. Chat, where the fuck... Where was that? There was an explosive detonator. I could have swore I saw it on my way down. Oh, yeah, there it is, never mind. Never mind, chat, I don't need you. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> chat, like, what the fuck? I was just using you. Yeah, well, we don't need you. <laughs> don't lie to yourself, John. I know you need me. Uh, okay. So now, explosive detonator. We put that on this wand here. 
If we detonate it, it should pull us to the, where the boss was. Remember, I left the boss with the, uh, the, 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 tr Weebs! That's it, chat. You're in timeout, chat. I left the, uh, dormant crystal with trigger at the boss with the teleport stored in it. Here's our explosive detonator. This is an important moment, chat. This is an actual useful way to use this. Alright. We're at the dragon's area. We dig through the right wall. And remember, if you've killed the uh, Leviathan at any point in your runs, you should have portals that are over here by default now. They just, every run has it, just because you've killed one in the past. We definitely haven't killed one today. There we go. And the bottom right portal should take us to hell. Whoop. And in hell, we can grab this orb. Yoink. And then we can use our explosive detonator wand and we cast it. And it pulls us back over to Comey. We're instantly out of hell. And then we are going to real quickly... Over here, and uh, <laughs> Pog, Pog. That's a lot of Midas you got. Thank you, thank you for noticing. You want to see a lot of Midas there, Black Wraith? I'll show you a lot of Midas. That's a lot of Midas. <laughs> this is not the Volcanic Lake, it's the Midas Lake. The game lied to you. Yes, lava has been converted over to Midas because of our fungal shift that we did earlier. Hmm, so much cheddar. So much cheddar. What the hell? Oh shit, the Midas is pouring in from above. Get out of here. If all volcanoes are made out of silver and gold, uh, what would it bring it? <laughs> what would bring to a man? What it would bring to a man. There we go. Uh, it would be worthless. <laughs> Actually, no, it wouldn't be worthless because people would... I mean, they use that shit still, right? But it would... Uh, let's just say all those people that are wearing gold jewelry would be fucked right about now. The market's collapsing. Good thing I invested in diamonds. Capo. <clears throat> Better be careful, uh, you're gonna catch a gold lung. <laughs> I got the gold lung, Pop. <laughs> uh, hold up, hold up. We need to move some stuff around. Alright, so we're gonna set up another dormant crystal with teleport. Alright, alright. We run over here. Yeah, Margotten says we need a new teleport crystal. I'm I'm prepping it. I'm prepping it, baby. We just cough up the new crystal. Yeah. There we go. The crystal has a teleport stored inside of it. You know what? It's probably smarter to do two of them. <laughs> just in case the one crystal fires off a little oddly. Because you never know. Just, you just never know. There's two of them. Just to be certain. Uh, Kind says in the wiki it says that when you create the sun and dark sun in the place of the moon and the dark moon, you get the crown uh, accessory. So, y y that happened to me as well, Kind. Um, Latali, is Latali around right now? He was here earlier. There's a way you can fix that. It, it, it bugged out for you. Um, mine, mine bugged out as well. God damn it, Weaves! Shut your yappers! Um, don't worry, there is a fix for it, kind. You aren't completely fucked. It's actually a really simple fix, and it'll make it where the crown will, will show up. Uh, if Latali was here, we could ask him. There you go. No lava just, just told you how to do it. 
Hobby hit us uh, with a follow in Argoot. Argoot. Thank you for the follow as well. Appreciate the love. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so our digging kind of sucks right now. Kind of sucks a lot. I was trying to think of a better way to get around, but it's not really. It'll be fine. I forgot to put the explosive detonator. Chat, that's your fault. Distracting me with your weeb noises and stuff. Let's go! Alright, we're heading for orb number 10, which is a little ways over here, but the good news is we can kind of swim through Lava Lake. Oh shit! I've never seen it spread upwards like that. Kind of weird looking. Uh, I guess it's because it's coming from the side and it makes sense. Okay, I want to travel, but there's so much fucking gold dust in the way. Basically, it's going to lag like crazy while we're near that area. Again, our fu our fungal shift that we did earlier in the run, we get uh, fungal shifts are done whenever you eat a lot of fungus. Uh, what happens is uh, materials in your world get affected, and um, we ate enough fungus while we held on to a... Uh, we, we ate some fungus, that, which was from the overgrown... Or not the overgrown. Which was from the fungal caverns, which is in, like in the second zone. Which is the, the, the pink or purple stuff. So we ate that and uh, we forced a fungal shift to happen and we held a flask of Midas while we did it. And coincidentally, the shift that we got, damn, look at that, look at that, finally it smoothed out. Um, it shifted lava away and it replaced everywhere that there should be lava with Midas. Which is why you're seeing that Midas everywhere. How do you get the Flask of Midas? Uh, so today's daily, in the first zone, uh, you'll see Midas. You're likely to see Midas because uh, it showed up. We just were walking along and it just showed up. And so then chat was saying it was like oil, oil, soil, and like water or blood. Something like that. It's very common ingredients. So then we just scooped up a little bit of that in a flask. Keep in mind, it has to be the main ingredient in your flask. Now that can be a little tricky. Because you gotta basically empty out all other ingredients and just get like one pixel of the stuff that you want. Wow, a some poly just chilling there. That seems safe. Alright. We are below another orb. And normally, one of the things I dread about this orb is the walk back is so fucking annoying. But... Because we set up that crystal in that sweet spot, we just cast it, and we back, boys. Save us some time. That is orb number in. And then, let's go grab orb number 11. Oil, soil, and wire coil. I don't think that's accurate. New tech so good. Yeah, it's it's definitely saving saving some fucking some time. Elon dropping off 10k sweats it just got Noita a couple weeks ago and all uh, and I just oh you finally got your first win. Congratulations there, Delonatron. Congrats, congrats. That first one uh, is a sweaty it's a sweaty one, I know. I've 
I've been there, and it feels damn good. So, congrats. Uh, obvious, uh, also, one thing that's interesting is this this tech that we're using to jump back and forth. This is stuff that's only been around uh, not even like a month now. So, that's what makes Noita badass, is even though there's not patches in the game, people are coming up with new stuff all the time. It's starting to rain outside, so if my power gets knocked out, chat. Actually, we're on a battery backup, so... We may just go into the dark. We'll see. I have the internet on it too, so hopefully it'll save the day. Uh, okay, put up the dormant crystal. Put this back. Put these down. And this goes back. Alrighty. Uh, so if you held that rare flask of piss while doing a fungal shift, all the lava would turn into piss. Exactly, boy Lyra. Uh, but keep in mind the the likely if you saw urine, it's probably in a jar, and I, I think you need to pour some of the urine out and scoop it up in a flask. Noita is weird like that, and you have to. They, it only really pays attention to regular flasks to affect the fungal shifts. I don't think it'll work with that like weird jar that it gives you. Rain equals disaster. <laughs> Listen, the Texas power grid didn't hold up to the cold. The rain is like, they're they're freaking out right now. They're like, oh my god, there's rain. There's water falling from the sky. Help. Help me, Tom Cruise. Oh, it's, yeah, the, I don't know. It's shit, shit is unstable as fuck. Uh, after the, the power grid crumbled to like the whole, um, <laughs> that one winter, Whenever I, I was out, I was without power for days, and without without wa drinkable water too. So no power, no drinkable water for a couple of days. And that was during COVID time. So and I had I had not been in contact with another human, besides my girlfriend because we lived together, um, for for at that point I think it had been about a year. And I was like, what the fuck? So uh, anytime there's a there's something happening outside, I'm always like, oh here it comes again. Here comes the darkness. The weather immediately crashes car. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even kidding. This is this is for real. But uh, when I was in college, because um, we don't get snow here very often, right? Well, it depends on where you live in Texas. There are some places that get it quite a bit. Um, but specifically, specifically where I'm at, I'm near like Dallas and stuff. We don't see snow that often. Like maybe like once a year. And then it'll skip a year every once in a while, like once every other. It it, it can be sporadic. I mean, we've had we've had times where, like, for five years in a row, we got like snow at least once each year. Um, but so I'm I'm uh, I was in I was you know leaving my college class. It was a night class, and it was about I don't know. It wasn't too late, like 7 p.m. or something. And I remember I'm walking in my car, and all of a sudden a couple snowflakes start to drop, and I was like, oh shit, it's snowing. And so I'm looking around, and I remember as I'm looking around in the background here. And I look over, it was a fucking wreck. Like in the median, two cars that just went straight into each other. And I was just like, that's classic. Like this, I, it literally, it was like, it was almost like a like a comedy sketch. We were like, oh, snow. Because people always joke about, you know, people in Texas can't drive for, in snow for shit, right? Uh, but it was like, oh shit, it's snowing. <laughs> like, damn, you lasted like five seconds into the snow. Congrats. I'm guessing, are you American? Yeah, I'm in Texas, specifically. You're in Texas. But, I mean, obviously there's no way, I mean, uh, I guess it is possible that maybe there's some, like, frost on the ground, but it was likely they also saw the snowflakes and were like, oh shit, snow, and they, like, were not paying attention to the, to the light, and one of them ran a red light straight into the other guy. That had to be it. I don't see how they could be like, oh my god, I can't control my car. There's, there's a snowflake on the ground. It wasn't like there was like a layer of snow or anything. Only lasting five seconds, Sage. <laughs> I'm sorry if this was traumatic for you there, Dylan. Oh, even hardcore Noita together lasts longer. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Even the bridge boss crew takes longer than that to fuck up. But yeah, outside of that, honestly, I don't really see a ton of wrecks here, specifically whenever it snows. Because most people just don't go out. And that's one of the things I like about where I live. Because, um, you know, if you live up north where they get tons of snow all the time and all that, I mean, you, there could be like two feet of snow 
that it's, it's, it's come down in like the last hour and a half and they're going to be like, all right, have fun getting to work. And people are like, what the shit? But here it's like if there's a couple like a little bit of snow in the air, things just start shutting down. And I kind of like that. It kind of I don't know. I love it whenever everything's just closed up and it's just snowing outside and there's like no one on the roads. Almost there, chat. Very cozy? Yeah. Yeah, it's super cozy. There's a subreddit called Idiots in Cars with full full of videos like that. Yeah, I've seen that uh that, that subreddit pretty regularly has videos make it to like the front page. I've seen it. Wait, what the fuck? Where are we? Oh here we are. Alright. Took a minute. But we're gonna make our way over to the orb. Our main concern right now would be electricity. Which is what that <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> our main concern is electricity. A fucking like massive charge of electricity blows up in my face and like a ton of shots just fire off. If you're curious what that was, that had to have been like a, a super uko or some shit. I don't see what else could have fired that off, because I think that's the only only thing that releases it. It looked like it was a regular Uko though. It looked like a regular Uko, didn't it? Nah, I think it was it was a big boy one. <laughs> love for the Super Uko. Screw that guy. He doesn't deserve love. Yeah, elect electricity is probably our greatest concern right now. Followed up uh, by freeze melee. And there we go. Orb number 11. Uh, what the shit? Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> what the, the fuck was that shit? Um, it was like playing Twitch integration or some shit where you guys voted explosives. Like, oh shit, chat's voting. They just voted bombs. Anyways. Um, that's a classic noise of jump scare. Explosive detonator. Uh, that's why we left those crystals with the teleports in it. So we cast our explosive detonator. Whoop, and we home. All right. Uh, so we have killed the pyramid boss, the alchemist, the bridge boss, the dragon, the door boss. And now our sixth boss kill will be uh, the final boss, Colmy. He does have 11 orbs, which is how many the roulette selected for us to do today. And we have done our six fungal shifts. So it's the final piece to the puzzle. Uh, one thing that I'm a little nervous about is that he will be shooting polymorph shots because he has so many orbs. He will be firing off some poly bullshit. Chaotic poly shots, I should say. Um... Did you minus the door boss? We tried to. Apparently it doesn't kill him. The boss literally dunked itself in the Midas and it did not give a fuck. Uh, let's get a good setup going here for our boss fight. So what I'm thinking, you guys are wanting ducks? You guys want ducks that bad? I'm assuming quack means yes. I don't, I'm not fluent in duck, in duck, I am fluent in dunk, uh, but I'm not fluent in, in duck, but I'm assuming you guys are saying you want the ducks. Problem is, there's no way, well, Tau, Tau is the way. Hmm. All right, well, hold on, let me get rid of the... Get rid of the charges, at least. Oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Anonymous, thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate you. Also, Thogard, Thogger, thank you for the follow as well. Flip, flip, flip. Anonymous. Always getting, always getting some sweaty loving from our anonymous supporters. Know that I greatly appreciate that. Trail for good measure. Okay, we'll drown in the boss fight. We cannot put a trail on the ducks. 
We'll definitely drown in there. Uh, oops, one more shot left. Alright, so we out of charges on the ducks, so now we're going to place the Tau down. Tau should shoot both of the ducks off at once. And then, um... So, I believe the duck does a, a basic projectile damage, right, chat? And then an explosion at the end. Meaning, if we put, uh... The, the weakening curse for the, the Tau, they should pump for a little bit extra. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's put this here. We actually got to do some kind of mono wrapping scenario. Uh, something like that. How does this look? Actually, we want to do it on this one. What am I doing? Well, maybe we'll do it on the one below. Let's see. Put it down a multicast. Uh, one, two. Uh, how does that look? Uh, okay. I'm not super confident in this. What do we have here? 213 mono recharge. Yeah, we could get we could swap it out with that. Um Missing a LARPA. <laughs> we actually had a LARPA earlier that I dropped off. I don't want to put the explosion weakening curse because I don't think uh it's worth the trouble. do this one the 1600 is pretty sick question is does it have enough monopole to even fire that in the first place why not we do have the explosive projectiles we could toss on there especially if we grab this Okay, we swap this over. Up. How's that look? Something's off. Right? Oh, what did I what did I do here, chat? What's the point of trying to rapid fire? If we have the monopole to sustain it, I think we have one too many digging drills. That doesn't sound right. Let's see. Hmm. Been watching the YouTube for a few weeks to decide to finally peep in on a live show. What's up there, Toily? I appreciate you stopping by, man. Do the ducks contact enemies? Yeah, yeah, they do. They do a fuck ton of contact damage. Let's say that I was to run that, right? If we ran double explosive projectile, does that... Does that still sustain? Kind of. Actually, no, it's working pretty well, I think. What about if we have... Wow, it's still? Holy shit, that mono region. 1,600 is no joke. Oh, no, now, now it's too... Wait, what? I could have swore we just were testing that. How, that. how was that working a second ago? Something's off. What?
Hmm. Is that all duck blood? Yeah, it's all duck blood. Grim says, I'm watching the stream to avoid finishing up my living room. <laughs> Just got all the new furniture and have to paint. Oh shit. Make sure you're not uh you're not breathing in too many of those paint fumes while you're watching some Noita. Can't you just easily kill the boss with a double explosive projectile? Yeah, we could we could mess him up pretty good, but the chat was wanting ducks. But I think this will be good like this. I just gotta make sure I don't fuck around too much. Uh, because like I said, this boss uh, will this here. This boss will be shooting polymorphine shots. Uh if something goes terribly wrong. What we'll do is we will come back here and try to reset up. However, there is... Where's that arrow trigger? Do we throw it on the ground? Hello? Shut up, Grandma. Throw a beard. Chat, where did I put the arrow trigger at? Oh, never mind. Found it. Or at least says the chat wanted ducks to chat get ducks. Exactly. There we go. Arrow trigger with the alpha. So if we get in a real rough spot, we will just shoot these to heal ourselves back up. Alright, so we have those heal. All right, Hellbeard, I hope you're having a great... You and the family are having a great weekend, by the way. He says, Sup, nerd. So I dove into uh, Scorn over the weekend. Finally, uh, really really fun love letter uh, to HR... Uh, is that Geiger? Uh, very, very graphic game. Vi uh, visually and uh, atmospheric with some interesting... Uh, with some interesting... It's on, a game, it's on Game Pass. It's definitely not for everyone uh, because of how graphic it is. Scorn. Was that the, that was the one everybody was talking about yesterday, I think, right? Didn't it? It just came out? It was a game that just came out that everybody was talking about the other day. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, check this out. And I completely forgot till this moment right now. Uh, Alright, we're set. What's the recipe for uh, Alchemic Precursor? Oh, yeah, some people were asking um, about the, the alchemy stuff. It was, um, what's it again, chat? Oil, soil, and blood. Basically, you're gonna f whenever you you see this, it's gonna be two sol uh, two liquids in one solid material. So the two liquids are the oil and the the blood, and then the solid is the soil. So you'll in today's daily, you should run run across it in the first zone. Somebody had mentioned it when I was setting up for stream today. They said I ran into alchemic precursors, so I had a feeling I was like, oh, we're probably gonna see it in today's daily then, and we did. It can be triple liquid, can it? I almost always get. Is it? Is it that it can be a triple liquid, liquid, triple liquid, double liquid, and a solid, but never one liquid, two solids? Is that how it goes? Test sixty. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay, so three liquids or two liquids, one solid. I didn't. I didn't, I wasn't even sure. I had no idea. Good to know, though. Thank you. Um, alright, so we're going to be fighting this boss with ducks. Uh, I'm not 100% on our damage here. I mean, I think it's going to be pretty okay. Uh, oh, there's the lava that should normally pour down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Chill, chill, chill. Alright, here it goes. Damn, it's lagging like crazy. After he does his attack, he puts his shield down for a bit. Alright, our damage is going to work. Our damage will work. Oh, fuck. Hit myself pretty good there. Those ducks are just like going ham. Jesus, there's so much lag. It's because of this, it's because of all this Midas gold that's moving. Because you gotta remember, whenever. So. Oh, look at that electricity. That's kind of scary. When the Midas gold, uh, when the Midas liquid starts moving, uh, all the solid material it's coming in contact with, it starts converting over to gold. So that's why this fight was such a lag fest. It wasn't the boss itself; it was the fact that this whole room is slowly being converted over to gold. And it is a laggy one. 
But yeah, um, basically, if you're if you're curious how we managed to do like uh, so much damage, that boss had significant health. Is that um, mainly the ducks? I think were the were the unsung heroes there. I mean, double explosive projectile was nice too, uh, but since we weren't rapid firing it that fast, mainly I think it was our our flock of ducks with the weakening curse were were fucking them up big time. Because these guys these guys do some real damage. These ducks, they'll surprise you. It's like a it's a piercing damage too. The uh, explosive projectile really fucking hurts, though. Is the lag the game not able to keep up, or your computer? Um, I mean, there obviously could be a little bit of my computer, but it's mainly the game engine. Yeah, the, the engine that the game is on um, can only handle so much of a beating. Because uh, you gotta remember, it's simulating every pixel. And the pixels right now are doing a lot. First off, we have the, uh, the Midas liquid flowing. So all these pixels are flowing. And then... Each pixel, uh, when it comes in contact with a solid pixel, the physical uh, pixel, it can convert it over to gold. So it's doing this with, as you can see, at least hundreds of thousands, uh, if not, well, I mean, it's, I think it's probably safe to say millions uh, of pixels all at once. Like, they are, they're all being simulated, so, and it's all flowing and crap, so this causes your game to really, to really chug. This is why that, uh, you can, the game only loads, like, so much at once. Like, while we're standing here... Um, zones like over in the Holy Mountain are not loaded right now. Like it's not actively flowing and moving, moving that. Remember all that duck blood we had in the mountain? Well, let's watch if we if we go over there. You'll notice that the game will probably after a bit will start to move a little bit smoother. Oh, well, it's there's still quite a bit over here. To, yeah, see it's running a little bit smoother. And the further we get away from the bullshit, the smoother it will run. How the heck you get lava to Midas? Today's daily run is a really good fucking uh, daily. You can you can literally you don't forget that the uh, the seed is gonna kind of like dictate the luck. So if you play today's daily, and uh, you'll you'll see you're likely to see the alchemic uh, precursor in the first zone. You should see it in the first zone, and uh, whenever you come across it, your very first shift. If you if you do a shift and in your flask the main ingredient is Midas. You will get a, uh, wait, we did pre Precursor first, didn't we? Our first shift, we did Precursor. Our second shift, we did Random. And our third shift, we did Midas. Is that the correct order? But basically, if you do the shifts in the same order that I did it, you'll get the same results. So if you want, you can always go through the VOD and kind of watch the order. But keep in mind, the daily run will be changing in, um, shit, I don't know. What is it, chat, like... 12 hours, something like that. I just realized we weren't supposed to go down here. Do we have a way out? Are we in trouble, chat? Actually, wait, I think we're fine. We're fine. So, all right, we do that, and then, oh, these are going to end up killing us, I think, when they die. That duck was huge! What was that about? Postal service, thanks for the follow. Undead, appreciate the love. This is going to take a moment, you guys, but uh, we'll be able to get out of here. One moment, please. I mean, we could just use the ducks to kill ourselves, but I was kind of hoping to visit our home. How do you escape the curse? Um, so we just did an 11 orb win. So the 11, the 11 orb win is considered the gold ending. And uh, what happens is it turns the world to gold, and it uh, it actually doesn't kill you. Uh, that so that time I didn't I didn't have to escape the curse. Normally you do need to. Normally you have to escape the curse by running as fast as you can. But if you have 11 orbs, it won't it won't kill you at the end. 
Um, normally what you would do for 11 orbs is you'd go back to the surface. You go back to the surface and you win there. Okay, come on. Come on, game. There we go. Oof. Go. Wait, what? Do we get DuckTales? No DuckTales for you, damn it. See, there, there's the portal that we jumped into. Let's go! What if you collapse it now, going to the right? It'll, it'll still collapse. So like, uh, for example, like over here. This collapses, and now if I go back in there, I can no longer edit. Uh, not only that, but if you look, there's always a curse in the air, which normally it's kind of hard to see, because they're red pixels, but now that we've, you know, we got the wind, they're gold pixels, so they're a little more obvious. So you get hit with a curse when you walk in there. But that, that curse is always there. You have to wait about 30 seconds or so and the curse uh, will dissipate and then you can go in there. But still will not be able to edit. Hey bro, got any spare change? Yeah, let me pass you a cool 100,000. Like Bezos over here. Do 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 do. Travel over here. But there's ducks and gold. But there's ducks and gold. I can still shoot one, can I? There we go. Oh, weebs. Weebs? I've been enjoying silencing the weebs today. They've been misbehaving. They have to learn. Don't be, don't be, don't give me that face. Why don't you give me that look? You know you deserve that mute. All right, here we go. Down into hell. And whoop, whoop, whoop. We go where the pro gamers go to die. There it is, chat. The completion of the daily run today, which turned out to be this crazy gold like Midas or uh, alchemic precursor Midas run I, it was it was wild stuff um, I'm a little sad that I dropped uh, the stone at one point and, lo and lost it by shooting with luminous drill but besides that pretty fantastic run today that was our roulette run of the day boom <laughs> I don't get it the world looks the same <laughs> true true the world didn't change. It was exact. It was it was gold the whole time from start to finish. As we get win number one thousand five hundred and twenty-eight into the books, GG GG. And you know what, chat? During the run, I didn't want to say, but the run was getting pretty wild, and I think I may throw that run up on YouTube. But I knew if I said I was going to put it up on YouTube, you guys would extra, extra misbehave because you are already acting up. And I was like, and I don't want to mute Dunkbot. So then I was, and I was just like, I'll, I'll, I'll wait and see and fill things out. 